Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Oh, right. I need to change the game capture to satisfactory. Oh, right. I need to. There we go. Fantastic. All right. So, where were we? Building our first uh, coal plant. Let's continue, shall we? I just got used to a game that lets me double jump, and now this feels weird. Can I, can I crouch jump up onto this? Nope. Okay. Um... Seems we're a bit short on copper. Let's go get some. And... We should... I need to set up something to show me... Uh, stream frame rate and such a bit more easily. Because I'm not sure how badly I need to turn on performance mode here. But... Hopefully that makes a noticeable difference. And then of course we immediately get a little hitch, but that's actually the game. Oh, that's nice. 66 copper sheets, that's more than I was expecting. Should I pick anything else up while we're going to get more stuff? Yes. We need some rotors and some reinforced iron plate. Probably some cable that's right behind me. Whoops. Let's see. I believe it's over here. Oh, actually, I remember we made a... Oh, okay, that's a decent amount. But also we made a base specifically to make uh, these two things, or rather... We made we made a new base, and for the moment, it makes specifically those things. Let's head. Whoops, that that was weird. Let's head back and grab some cable on the way, and maybe some wire. Make it two stacks. A hey, young Jesus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I'm heading too far north. Yeah, there we go. Um, I do want to swing by... Uh, where is the... Oh, there it is. I think we've only made two of the three water extractors we're going to need. Unless they've changed the ratios. I would be surprised if they've changed the ratios. I am. What about you? Yeah, not too bad. Enjoying my time off work. Alright, can we line three of these up nice and neat? Not as they currently are. I would probably like to... Oh, that's right. I think I lined up this one so it perfectly lines up with this, except then I ended up moving it anyway. So why don't we just start again? And... can put this surprisingly far to the left. Um... If you want a very specific placement for this stuff, I don't know if they've added any tools for that, but you could definitely do worse than to build build out some concrete. Oh, that's unfortunate. I might have to... Oh, hello. That, that, that looks 
not weird at all. It's probably fine. And surely this one fits now. Fantastic. All right, let's get some pipe over here. And we'll have this one connect over this side. And the middle one can take one of the middle pipes. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. We need one more of these. That will line up with the middle of that. I, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, let's see how this looks. Good. And one more, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Okay, so this pipe is going to go way over here. Uh, we could make it go through the ground if we want to, but I don't feel like that's going to look too good. What if we do it like this? I can live with that. Got no work today, so I can stay here. Nice. Uh, are we really... We've run out of, um... We've run out of copper sheet already. Uh, so yeah, one of... Either this one or this one. I want to connect that pipe to. Let's go see how much more the machine has made. I don't know if it's going to be enough already. I wonder if there's a setting for it, it would be a good idea to turn on motion blur or something. Uh, because of the way I tend to flick with games, with first person games. Just for streaming. Oop. I need a jetpack. Actually, there's an item that's not too far away that gives us increased run speed and jumping, right? Looking forward to that. Alright, so... Uh, this one? Let's start again. Don't know how much I rotated that. Actually, I want this to line up here. And then, why don't we do it like this? I can live with that. That's pretty good. Okay, so... We're gonna need power. One, two, and a three. Mm, I would rather have this more in the middle. Although we'll bias it to the right side because that's where the power connectors are on these things. And then we just need to connect up the cog. Although we did also get... Um, I believe I unlocked a recipe, almost the last thing I did uh, before stopping the stream last week. We've got a recipe for better coal, basically. Let's go have a look. Run back to base for now. Actually, I wonder if I can do it here. Coal... that's not... I don't know if it's going to be craftable directly. I'm probably going to need a machine.
We'll swing by later to get more copper sheet. I'm not sure we're going to need it for the moment. And I'd rather wait till there's more. Do I have any leaves to drop off? Yes. Oh, and I should check the fuel levels. Ten. Okay. Let's give each of you a hundred. And hopefully that'll be the last time. I think I said that before, though. Okay, so... Where do I look at all my recipes? Is it like F1 or something? I think I remember there being a help thing that I can bring up somehow. I might have to check my key bindings at this rate. Options. Build menu. Not quite what we're looking for. Oh yeah, I remember you could use photo mode to zoom in on things. Codex. Here we go. C for codex. Um, coal. Compacted coal. Produced in assembler, and we need sulfur. Luckily, I know where to find sulfur as well. Okay. So, I should probably make sure I have... Uh, some plate and stuff before I go. I should also get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. That is coal as well. Why isn't it stacking? You can press N for quicker lookup. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thank you. Cheers, young Jesus. Okay, um, uh, gonna need some plate. Actually, it's on the way. We've got a bunch of iron products waiting for us. Uh, relatively close to the stuff that I'm planning to build. Nom nom. I don't think I'm carrying up oh, there. We go. Whoops. I suppose while I'm at it, I could probably run some belt up there. Probably going to need to upgrade it, or I could just start by using reinforced iron plates. I actually have more... Oh no, I've got more regular plate on me at the moment. Um... So I think it's going to go over that way. Maybe I should get a better idea of it first. Can I not rotate this? Okay, never mind. Oh, um... I think I remember having to send multiple belts this way, so... Maybe we should start with that? Nah, I'm just going to get it done first, and then we can worry about the other stuff later. A lot of little hitches. Oh yeah, that's right. Satisfactory does this when there's a new area. Or it's, you know, loading an area, rather. A Baker Staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like our base over here has run out of power. Actually, these ones are still yellow, so... Oh, because they've got, like, one biofuel. Alright, 
let's tear these up for now. And I'll make a nice, neat little foundation. So we can fit four of these. Nice and easy. Did I just run out of rods? There's definitely some over here. I... or so I thought. Okay, that would be plate. Rods are here. Fantastic. That's only seven. That's not enough. Um, there should be... There is not. Okay, I guess I'm taking them off the belt. We only need a few. Okay. Back over to here. Give it a... Well, we're actually going to need two power poles for this. Looking forward to better power poles already. Okay, so let's give these... I don't have a multiple of four... Wait, where did my fuel go? Oh, it's here. I just missed it. Sadly, I do not have a multiple of four solid fuel. But we'll do our best. There we go. That should last a little while. And we should have a lot of rotors at six, really. Six and eight. Well, I guess this ran out of fuel a while ago. Let's continue our quest to go get some coal, shall we? Actually, I might just head up there first get a better idea where everything is. I'm pretty sure it's right there, but I would rather be able to see it properly before building belt. I can hear enemies. I don't think this is the one I was hearing. Yoink. Didn't realize it was possible to beat them that way. Nothing but melee and no tech. Is that a... Oh, that's the tick. Okay, I'll take the bacon. Hey, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That... Uh... That little sound thing is not... Hello, that's our first spider. Comply. Comply? I think not. I'll come back and get this when I feel like it. Is that another spooder? It sounds like a spooder. Ow. Failed my dodge roll. Is that more bacon? No, it's just, uh, delicious berries. I keep forgetting I can't double jump. Oh. I think I will need assistance to get up here. Um, I was going to build a ladder anyway. Can't remember if I... There it is. Wait, no, that's not it. I should probably add this to one of our shortcuts. That's right, I was gonna climb up this way, but I, from the sounds I was hearing, I think there might be a giant spitter up here, so I don't want them to knock me off a cliff and kill me. 
a evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One, two, three. Did I just run out? I did just run out. I'm gonna have to go back for more iron stick. I also should have set it up so that we definitely had... Well, I thought we already did. I'll have to check. I thought we had it set up so that iron stick would accumulate at that second base. Here's the sulfur. Fantastic. Uh, let's put down a miner, if only to make it easier to find. And... Of course, I need iron stick. Sad. And up here is where the coal is. And I can't build any ladders right now. Well, I could use uh, foundations, I'm pretty sure. Let's get the nice steep one. I still haven't unlocked the... Oh, I didn't think it would let me build it like that. Oh, that makes it easier than expected. Um, I still haven't built, uh, unlocked the nice, like, diagonal foundations that would make this a bit easier. I've run out of plate as well. Okay, we did just make it up, though. So here we've got a nice little flat area. Oh, I've run out of ammo, too. That's good. One more. Nope. Fortnite more like satisfactory. <laughs> yes. Ow. Maybe it was just the small spitters that are up here. I'm glad I won't be fighting a big one with no ammo. And this little taser. Nom nom nom. And here is our coal. It's pure. Fantastic. Uh, so we can get... I believe it's 120 per second out of this with a tier 1 miner with no overclocking. That's going to be more than enough for our coal plant. Um... Maybe rather than dragging the belts all the way around there, we'll just go straight through here. Um, but yeah, main thing at the moment is we need more res- oh, hello. Yes, please. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. I, okay. I did not think this through. This is bouncing me a lot higher than I realized it would. I think we're in for a little bit of fall damage here. Okay, there we go. Let's go get ourselves a bunch of plate and sticks. Was that another spooder? Sounds like a spooder. I can't figure out where it might be, except for maybe underneath. Maybe I shouldn't be looking for a spooder with no ammo. If it's a big spooder, it could be bad. I think we're fine. Though the sound is very disconcerting. Okay, I didn't realize it would... Oh, what's that? Copper? Copper. I didn't realize it would be a little tricky to climb up this side. I have to go all the way around here. And 
Wait, did I... No, I, I didn't drag that conveyor belt in the wrong direction. The underneath is going this way, so it's correct. Okay. Let me get some more stuff now. 28 plate and 31 rods. Uh, regular plate. I think we're using up almost all the regular plate we're making. This is... This could be 40 per second, but this one isn't active. Yeah, so we're literally using up all the plate. What's the problem here? Oh, that would help. Um, okay, give me more plate, please. And that's 40 plate per minute. And we need 30 per minute, so plate will accumulate. Although one every six seconds is not very exciting. Um, what about rods? I see five. Oh, here we go. I probably should have looked here before. That'll keep us in business for a, at least 12 minutes. Okay. I think we're using all of the ingots that we're smelting here. 15, 30, 60, 120. And this is 20. Uh, 30, 60, plus 60, yeah. It's a perfect ratio. I think the same goes, uh, uh, same applies over, over here. For a second there I thought this one wasn't fed, but this one is feeding for 15 or per minute, times 4 is 60, is the worst conveyor belt. These two are doing 30 per minute each. And no doubt got the exact same thing over here. Okay. The only thing I'm not happy about with this little base for the moment is that we're not we're just not gonna get that much plate. Uh which is the main thing that we need at the moment. I could probably just slow down the production of reinforced iron plate. So we'll get five per minute. Until we accumulate some more. Or I could put a splitter over here. That's probably a better idea. Although this will use more power. But it's fine for now. Okay, maybe I should do something similar for sticks. But on the other hand, we can accumulate five stacks of it just in the machines alone. Uh, speaking of using sticks. Let's get some ammo. Actually, I think... I thought we could do this at the crafting bench as well. Yeah, we can. Interesting. Okay. What do you think of FBE? FBE. FBE. I don't know. Yo, Factorio looking good today? Yes, indeed. Whoops, I made one too many. Now it's using up a inventory slot until I fire this. Just Logan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we got only 15 played. Well, that's another 20. And we'll take that as well. 
And yoink. Alright, that should hopefully be enough to... I think I will just run this belt over this way. Uh, slightly too far. That's fine. We're going to end up replacing it when and if we have to do stacked conveyor belts anyway. Why is this not working? Oh, I have... I've already run out of plate. Okay, maybe we should go back to the old base to grab some plate. FBE is a website slash tool for creating blueprints for bases so you don't have to do it in-game. For satisfactory? I'm interested. They're still not talking about putting blueprints in the vanilla game? Oh, Factorio. Uh, I haven't actually used it. I, I like to use uh, editor extensions if I'm going to you know, design a base with, uh, what, well, design something. Could be an entire base. If I'm going to do that with, like, unlimited resources, I'll use, um, editor extensions. Okay, where is our plate? I think it starts over here somewhere. That sticks. I was going to say we've got enough sticks, but never enough sticks. Plenty of concrete. And there's our plate. That'll help. There should be a bunch of it over here as well. Now I'm curious to what you use then. Yeah, the mod is called Editor Extensions. Uh, if you install that and go to New Game, it actually has a scenario that'll put you in like a, a lab surface. And you'll basically have unlimited resources. Um, and there's a super RoboPort, super bots, uh, giant... What's this? Oh. A giant substation thingy infinite uh, infinite provider chest, etc. I have fallen in love with editor extensions too, it's so good. Absolutely. Especially with like big projects, uh, like uh, making a decent sized Omni Smelter, and especially where you need to test like that the belts all go where you think they do, and you're putting a lot of stuff in chests. Um, you really don't want to have to deal with, oh, I need to move tens of thousands of iron or coal or something that's no longer where I want it to be. Uh, the super bots can literally remove that stuff in a few seconds. Um... I think I'll put this low so that I can use it to climb up. I'll put some foundations up this way. Mm, probably needed to make that a bit more steep to start with. I could use the uh, the ladder thing. Let's just use a foundation. Okay. That seems like a decent place to start. And I don't suppose I can reach up there already. Lower my mouse sensitivity. No. Okay, more foundations. Actually, why don't I just ramp it from here?
Oops. It almost reaches. Okay, can we put it up here though? Yes. This feels safe. Okay. And there goes power again. A hey, Cassandra Asmolith, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get ourselves a... not a smelter. A miner. First we're going to need a portable mining drill. Uh... oh, good. So this is actually giving us 120 per minute on a tier 1, which means this belt is going to be the bottleneck. Um, we're going to need some power. And... I wonder which base, it's that one, which base ran out of power. I would say I should just connect them all already, but, um, then I have to run all the way back to put fuel in. Although I might have to do that anyway. There we go. Satisfactory is super fun. Yes, indeed. I find it very relaxing. Um... We need some more fuel. Uh, biomass leaves. Biomass wood. Biomass... Well, actually, let's just make the solid biofuel. Not enough space in inventory, goddammit. Um, how about this? There we go. So hopefully as soon as we put fuel in this, coal is going to get all the way down to the coal generator. Uh, we need to make sure we connect this power network to the coal generator, and uh, everything might shut down before the coal actually reaches the coal generators, but after that, um, it's going to get itself into a self-perpetuating cycle. It's going to be even more chill when you got your coal power up and running. Yeah. Don't have to run back and forth just to click switches anymore soon. Whoops. Um, I don't have room to split my stacks here. I know. I should make a... I could use a container. There we go. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Twenty five. Okay. Go. And let's start connecting the coal plant. How far can this reach? Mm, kind of far. I think I'd rather put these next to each other. And 
here we go. And I think we've also already connected... Well, we've all but connected the power. Oh! Rip. Um. <laughs> rip power. There should be some coal on the way here, though, already. So, what I'm gonna do first is just disconnect this power line. The coal's gonna end up in these coal plants. It's gonna run nothing but these water extractors. Then we're gonna have enough water. Actually, we don't have any water yet. Um, never mind. Okay. So, we're gonna have to kickstart this stuff yet again. Actually, it's probably better to disconnect everything and then make a make a generator up here. Don't put your pumps on 100% each. Set them a little down. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Thanks, young Jesus, again. I wonder if they'll add powered conveyor belts so you don't need to run poles all along them. That'd be a good idea. Alright, let's set this to like 20%. I said 20%. I can't copy paste this? Okay. And that should drop its power requirements way, way, way down. Of course, wait, can I, I... I do have to go all the way back to trigger the fuse, right? Or can I do it here? Damn. What's our max consumption? 97. It doesn't tell us how much we were reducing. Oh, it does here. Okay, capacity 120 watts, max consumption 92. That doesn't sound right. And this one spiked it up above that. Okay, why did that work? And why did this not work? Maybe just for a split second it was still, like, using the old amount of power. 100% uh, power for the water extractors. Well, the main thing is now that now we have water. And there should be coal coming down the belt sooner or later. I may as well get this out of my inventory right now. Um, might take a... there's a tiny bit of water in here. Might take a little while before we see any of that. Let's just double check. If you run along the side of the belt, it doesn't slow you down. Here's our coal. Fantastic. And there's probably a big gap in it over here. And then I can see the rest of it over there, just barely. If I tilt the view away and use field of view, you can see better on the edges. Okay, so I was thinking about going straight to, um, uh, compacted coal, is it? Compacted coal. But I would much rather get this going first. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I've got no fuel. Wait, it's still... Nope. I was going to say it's still working off the last little bit of fuel it had from before. That turned out to be wrong. Alright, that's enough of that. May as well cut this down if it's never going to see the light of day again.
Okay. Oh, that doesn't look very good. How about this? Yeah, that looks totally normal. Okay. Here comes the coal. And we have some water. Fantastic. I don't actually have to turn on the power plants or anything, right? There's no reason to underclock uh, coal plants, I presume. I don't suppose you'd get more fuel efficiency out of them if you had more and underclocked them. I don't really see the point of that anyway. You can always overclock the, um, the miner that's bringing coal instead. Not to mention you could overclock these things. And there goes our power. It's probably going to have waves going up and down until the coal saturates everything. Which it might not do because 15... We're looking at 120 coal per second to satisfy um, all of these. Um, I should probably... Should probably line things up so that I've got... Hang on. How about... This can be number four. Don't usually go straight for that. This is number four. This is number four. It's fine. Uh, anything else? No? We haven't unlocked that much stuff yet. So let's upgrade these. Find out just how many reinforced iron plate we've actually got at the moment. Might be enough to finish this belt, but I'm... No, it's not. <laughs> Nowhere close. And I think I slowed down the production of them over here. Good luck, gotta go. No worries. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a good one. Worst thing about coal power is the water bit. Yeah, fluids in games can be a bit weird. Actually, you know what? I feel like I should make it a standard policy to use... Uh, stackable conveyor poles, even if I'm only doing one belt, because it's not just leaving room to upgrade, it means I can climb them as well. Uh, what? No. Ouch. Actually, I am glad I did the belt this way, because it acts like a ladder. Alright. Let's just upgrade as much of this as we can for now. We're actually... Okay, we're actually closer to finishing this belt upgrade than I thought we were. There's just one... So that's 28 plus 28. Um, 56. I, I think we need 56 reinforced iron plate. There's probably already that much accumulated back at base. This is another four. So let's go pick that up. Why not? I could probably build a little bridge over here as well. That was riskier than I thought it would be. They also released update 5, offic five officially. Don't need the experimental branch anymore. Uh, rip. I literally just installed the experimental branch like five minutes ago. Well, okay. One hour ago.
uh, Big Ray, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What did I come back here for? Reinforced iron plate. I think we're going to have more than enough. Yep, we're fine. Uh, my inventory is a bit full, though. Let's drop off some berries. And plate and iron sticks, believe it or not. Or is it iron rod? Iron rod. Oh, I don't need motors yet. And I should probably turn all of this bio stuff into biomass. Fuse broken. I'm just going to leave this here. going to be right back. Haven't eaten breakfast yet. Get that breakfast. Okay. Um, I've actually only got 20. Oh, there was another 100 that I didn't pick up because my inventory was full. I might switch things on so that we're dropping the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but the smart plating into the space elevator, so by the time we work on that, maybe it's nearly done. I think I just, yeah, 5% speed, 0 0.1 per minute, 5,000 minutes until that's complete. Uh, how about no? And I'll take this for now, though. I'll also take this. Alright. So, our coal plant is already going to have 120 coal per second going in. Is there a power benefit to putting in the... Uh, whoops. Uh, compacted coal, or is it just more fuel density on the belt? Because I wouldn't particularly care about that second one if that's the case. Not right now, anyway. Um, so I think, well, okay, let's make sure we finish upgrading this part of the belt first, and then like half of the, uh, half of the belts along where the splitters are are going to have to be tier two as well, in order to ensure full throughput. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't suppose I can make this jump. Close. Kind of. Not really. I should put some ramps on this side as well. How do I... There we go. Alright. Conveyor belt mark 2. Lift mark 2. Fantastic. This one. This one. And this one. And I think that's it. This is 1, 2... Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one. 
and it should be fine if the rest is just regular belt. Actually, if these four add up to 60, then this belt should be able to be Mark 1. Alright, cool. And now... No connection? Really? Huh. Alright, let's double check all of these. Those two are fine. And it was only those two. Alright then. Now we need to turn up the water. There's a bunch in the pipes, so... Oh, no there isn't. Um... So currently we're dipping as low as 300 megawatts. I think we need considerably less than that in total to run the water extractors at full speed. I think it was 20 megawatts each. Wow, it's only 1.5 at 20% speed. And last one. There we go. Okay. So that should be enough to supply all of our coal plants. Obviously the fuel is taking the longest to get to the one at the end, considering we're splitting 50-50 over and over again. The rest of these are going to have to be... Oh, we're already getting kind of close. 27, 28, uh, so we need another like 300 fuel before this is getting enough power to keep going at full speed. But that is going to be that. We got coal power. What's the maximum that this produces with coal? Uh, 75 megawatt without any overclocking. 75 times 8 is... I think it's like 600. There's a calculator thing built into it, right? I can't remember the key. Um, key bindings. N? Oh, it's the same as the search. 75 times 8. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. Alright, so 600 uh, megawatts total once this is actually finished ramping up. Currently we're dipping all the way down to like Remind 300. Is a slow and Take killer. my points, no worries. All right, uh, I don't need to be picking up leaves like this anymore, but it's kind of a habit. What miner you have on the coal? Just a regular one, but it's a pure node, so it's giving us 120 per minute. Uh, BigRay54, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's run power back to our coal plant. Hopefully I can fit it just on this hill. Nice. doesn't quite reach over here. Oh. Oh, this has four connections because it's going back to the water. Um, I think I would like to ensure that the pumps switch off for as little time as possible. Oh, well, that kind of works. Um, okay, three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. 
Are we... Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Alright, so apart from a couple of little tiny satellite bases, um, that is it. That's power. Obviously, we'll have to upgrade it at some point, but for now, we've got vastly more power to play with than we've had before. And we don't have to keep manually refueling it. Mark 1? Yes, indeed. I don't think I've unlocked Mark 2s yet. Um, I will leave these... Okay, I'm going to get rid of the biomass burners, though. And we can get rid of this whole infrastructure here for automatically fueling... Well, not fueling the biomass burners, but that looks a little bit weird. Um, but at least automatically making the fuel for them. Oh, I forgot that's... Uh... Okay. Hello Jesus hat that set. Seems like a pretty normal thing to say. Alright. And now we can really start cleaning up. Though, for now, I just want to go and build our nice, neat second base. I do want to make sure that we're putting a little bit more uh, smart plating into the space elevator. So by the time we're doing the other things, it should probably be pretty far along. Is there anything I want to pick up from here before I go and just spend all my time at the new base? Power shards, I'm not overly concerned about. I can always just come get them. Um, I think we're good. Oh, copper. Uh, specifically, uh, copper sheet. Removed or take the bio burners off power grid to get the megawatts back? To get the megawatts back. Uh, where's my sheet? Over here. Yunk. What's your cap power? 600 megawatts. Um, I think actually the first thing I want to do... Well, okay, let's look at research first because I want to... There's a few things I've got in mind that I want to unlock. Uh, I thought... Oh, we did do a hard drive and I got the... Uh, compacted coal out of it. Inflated pocket dimension, plus six inventory slots, absolutely. Let's go get that wire. Okay. Wire. And what am I going to research next? I haven't actually made an object scanner yet. Yellow power slug. Oh, there's one back there. I'll have to remember that. Quartz. I think we don't have enough for that one. Black powder. We're going to be making black powder when we make the compacted coal. It's got the exact same ingredients. Okay. And away we go.
What a beautiful sight. This one's still not... Wait. Why is the second last one not active? Oh, there it goes. That's kind of weird. Mine is freaking huge. Alright, we're not going to need these anymore. Don't need this. And I'm not going to bother to touch that for now. Okay, so I think it's time to maybe consider overclocking our iron. There's copper over this way. In fact, it's right there. Not a whole lot of it, but enough that we won't have to travel to get copper too often. I think it's just the one node. And it's normal. But we should probably set this up to do more than just... Um, more than just one resource. It's because it's idling due to not being needed to produce your power. I may be wrong. Okay, I just wouldn't have expected, like, just the second last one to be idle. Um... If anything, I would have expected, like, the last one, two, or three to not have enough fuel yet. I think there's a bit more copper over there as well. Um, why don't we connect this up to the main grid? Should have gone up there first. How do I get up there without... Okay. Whoops. Let's be a little bit more careful. Oh, I should have just used the ladder on this thing. Okay. I think we'll put that right about there. And then, can we get another one over there? I can't see anything. Alright, this should be fine. Oh, we're closer than I thought. Fantastic. I really miss having the zip line. It does that to my coal network too. Okay. I kind of want to... Well, first of all, I want to put these things in a box. So they're not lying around. I'm going to want to rotate this and use that space there. And research complete. Fantastic. Oh, just what we needed. More inventory space. Dimension has been inflated. Fantastic. Um, okay. Miner. Face this way. That way the ladder is right where I can see it as well. Um, I think it was yellow slugs that I wanted to research next, but I have to go back to the hub for that. Is there anything else I can queue up? Not really. Let's just leave it for now. I can actually fit everything now. That's very convenient. Alright, so this is going to give us 60 per minute. Which means we need two smelters, I believe. Um, I 
kind of would like to make some foundations here. Otherwise, it's going to get messy. Can we fit this like so? Kind of. Smelter. Thirty per minute. We need a splitter. Wait, can I really not put that there? Clipping may occur. Oh, it, it'll let me do it. Okay. Can I do this? Nice and neat, or no? What? Okay. Splitter goes here. And that should... Why can't I get a nice, neat 90? Oh, I need to do it like this. Think like that. Not quite. There we go. Beautiful. And if I get rid of this one, is this going to line up well? Yeah, I like that better. Okay, cool. So we have our smelters. We need some more power. Um, I don't suppose if I... I don't suppose I can stretch this a bit further. I can. Makes it a bit easier to put a pole down here. Where's the middle? Yep, conveyor belts are allowed to clip into buildings now. Nice. I think it's better to let the player do things like that than to have overly strict rules and, like, forbid players from making something that looks decent that actually, if you look closely, it, it looks entirely possible. Alright, so next we need some... Well, we need a few things, actually. Gonna need a... Chainsaw. Can I not target this tree? Oh, there we go. It's nice that they warn you so players that one, it can still prevent the clipping themselves, yeah. Okay. What can we get for 60 copper per minute? Also, can we stop this revving, please? Actually, I might just not load this until I'm ready to use ammo. Um, we need some... Constructors. And regardless of what we're building, we'll put them in a row. I think I'll merge these two. We don't have that much space, so I'm not going to worry too much. The thing is, to me, it would be very intuitive that um, when you're placing something like this, the th you can make the three arrow things line up exactly, especially when you're putting it into a smelter or something. Merger. 
Is that gonna look okay? Yeah. And then... Split up. Assembler. I mean, constructor. Yeah, it's not clipping if you do it like that. Oh, is that... That's looking a little weird. No, it's totally fine, actually. Another splitter. Which is the... Oh, it's only one input, of course. Header. I probably don't need to be using conveyor belt level 2 for any of this, actually. That is... a little bit overkill for this spot. I could have just had this go straight over here, actually. Although, I don't hate the look of this, either. Alright, so what can we do with 60 per second? Actually, maybe we should just... Uh, I keep saying per second, it's obviously per minute in Satisfactory. Um, maybe I should just do 60 per minute for each product and we'll just allow it to accumulate one thing after the next. This is 15 per minute so we need four of them. Hmm. Might have to... Might have to use more space than I realized if we're doing that. But that's already a problem. Uh, let's do a container somewhere down here. I could have a splitter and go over there somewhere for a different product. Why don't we just put a ramp down here? Probably just a gentle one. Actually, can I fit a container here somewhere if I do that? Not really. We could do it over here. Oh, that's right. You can do some kind of swoopy thing now, right? I wonder how that works. There's probably a key that I have to hold down. Okay, so that can make 120 wire per minute, actually. May as well get the container in place now, rather than later. Um, I might just add a splitter over here. Might need a bit more clearance. That's fine. I imagine we won't need as many machines for the other cop uh, copper products. Let's see. Uh, presumably we're going to put our splitters up here for this one. Let's make sure that lines up. And we'll do it maybe like this.
All right, so copper sheet is the only other thing that directly uses copper ingot, at least for now. Maybe it would be better to do cable here, and the wire can go directly from that to that. But on the other hand, we can we can get the ingots in this way. Why does that say it's clipping? There's like a very specific clip here. I think it's clipping with the foundation. But who cares? More splitter. Um, just reminding myself, we've got 60 per minute, so we no only need level 1 belts. Okay. Uh, copper sheet. Copper sheet. And copper sheet. Now we need a merger. And how many machines do we need for copper, uh, for cable? Or is it called copper cable? I think it's just cable. 60 wire per minute, so two of these machines. Why don't we just do two of those right here? And why don't we just chainsaw this right here? If I can find the tree. There it is. You must not be scared to build higher. That will create more levels. Uh, level areas to build, then you can create nice steps and walkways and buildings. Yeah, but I don't have uh, I don't have the movement abilities just yet. So I don't want to get too carried away with that just yet. Okay, so that's going to be merger. Um, I'm confusing myself. Is this a merger? Yeah, there we go. Okay. One here. And here. And here, and probably have this one go directly, well actually no, I want a container between these two. So we'll put that one there, uh, 30 per minute, 30 per minute, 30 per minute, 30 per minute, 30, 60, oh, this is mark 2 isn't it, whoops. So these should all be Mark 1, and then Mark 2, then we need a container. I don't really care that that is technically clipping at all. Encroaching others clearance, okay. So much for being allowed to do clipping. Is that actually colliding? No. Not even close. Alright, this is fine, I guess. This obviously has to be Mark 2. And then... And then we're kind of in a bind. I might just do this real quick. And we'll 
we'll connect these like so. And then that is going to come out this way. Alright, so two machines over here for cable. And then we're going to need a... We only need 60 per minute, so we only need level 1 belt coming out of this. Right. We are going to need a splitter coming in from this direction. And then, like so. Can we stop with the chainsaw noises? There we go. It might be a problem to try to get a nice, neat... No, maybe not. Can we do it this way, please? That seems okay. How does that line up? Let's do it a little bit lower, if we can. Is that where I think it is? Yep. Nice. I like the way that looks. Okay, so we've got a lot... It's actually not as much as I thought. It is... Um, 8 times 6. 48 stacks. That's still plenty. Um, 48 stacks of storage for wire, not counting. 1, 2, 3, 4 stacks. 5, 6, and the belts. That's going to be quite a lot. Can't clip functional building still? Sure. Floating factories? Yeah, it always comes down to floating factories eventually. Um, so now we just need power. And obviously we also need containers for our other final products. Um, so I think it was the last two that are cable. I could have them going into two separate... Um, uh, why does it think that is clipping? Oh, I think it was something else. Okay. Yeah, we only need regular belt for this. Uh, let's get ourselves some containers again. We're just running out of flat ground as well. Unfortunate. Let's just pretend that's totally fine. And over here, merge in this direction. Same deal over here. It's not going to be able to line up very accurately, is it? It's probably fine. It'll have to do. Alright. So that is copious storage for... A copper sheet, actually. And if we've gone completely overboard with how many of these we're building, we can just underclock them. That is... Yeah, no, that's right. Alright, so how many is this? 10 per minute times 3. Okay. 
not very much at all. And these two are not going to be connecting. Alright, now we just need power. And to see how neat of a job we can do connecting the power. That's going to be pretty good. That one's already taken. And then... Let's get a nice view, shall we? Actually, I wonder if I could still place one of those uh, lookout tower. Oh, okay then. That's a pleasant surprise. It's a bit higher than I need it to be, but I should be able to get a good, a good view of where the power poles need to go. Unfortunately, we've got an odd number of machines here, though. And that one is definitely going to be the one to connect up here. And these two do that. Cool. Ouch. Alright, so this is ratioed so that we can produce any one of these things at full speed. And obviously it's uh, going to be a bit slower at first. Um, since we only split the ingots themselves between two resources directly, um, we're not going to have to worry about that. The wire that we're producing, uh, let's see, 120 per minute, all of that is going to get used. No, it's not. This is... Yeah, no, it is. Uh, we do have, like, tons of wire laying around from other places as well. But at this rate, we're going to completely fill up on cable before we make wire. And there's our other base over there, much closer than I expected. Why don't we put a ramp over here? If we can. Is that going to be a bit too high? Not really. Actually, I don't suppose we could connect it up to this. It's going to look a bit weird, I think. Still haven't tapped this uh, limestone. That's fine. All right, cool. And conveniently enough, when we come over here for wire, uh, for co copper things, we can see all of the containers uh, for stuff that we want right here. I think for now I will underclock our cable production. So we should accumulate uh, wire and cable at the same speed. Or rather, it's two wire for one cable. Yeah. It, they'll both accumulate in any case. Meanwhile, I don't know to what extent I'm going to want to refactor all of this. Um, I think for the foreseeable future, I'm going to want to leave it in place. But on the other hand, I would like to 
I, I would really like to overclock the iron miners over here. So we can get up to, um... Oh. We underclocked them. Okay. Even better. So this can be 60... This is already 120 per minute. And we could take it up to 240 without an overclock. And without better miners. Um... Our best belts do 240 per uh, do 120 per minute, but with eight furnaces, 1530, 60, 120, we would need to double our furnaces to take advantage of all of the ore that we can get here, and that's without overclocking. And without tier 2 miners. Hmm. I could change the belts so that these two miners here are supplying all of this. And down here we'll build another base uh, using iron. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, how's our research? I think we were waiting on yellow slugs. Oh, and I completely forgot about the sulfur that we want to take advantage of to the, uh, east, southeast. Alright, I think the thing to do now is run back to base. Uh, actually, before I do, just quickly... We'll get some concrete, uh, concrete production. I need a portable miner. Okay. And where should I? Where should I do the concrete production? Maybe over here. Actually, I would like the finished product to be in the same place as the other things that we come here to pick up. I don't suppose I can... no. Let's just put it here. Or I could put it way up there, but no, that's... that feels a bit odd without... Um, without a jetpack or high jump or anything. Okay. So this goes to about here. And that one goes like that. Uh, that is not what we're looking for, actually. We need to... I think we need exactly one machine to make concrete. Yeah, it's just straight from limestone. 45 per minute. This makes 60 per minute. I'm not worried enough about concrete to dedicate two machines to this. So why don't we just put this straight here? mess up our crouch jump. That's not clipping? Really? That's not clipping, apparently. That's cool. The belt doesn't line up, are you serious? Okay, I see how it is. Let's just do it slightly further apart. And 
will underclock this by 25%. We need some power. I guess we can steal it from over there. Oh, I forgot it takes a moment to get started. All right. That's a little too far. There we go. That is not the correct uh, underclock. I can do a target production rate, but what I actually want is a target consumption rate. Wait, what was I thinking? It's the miner that we have to slow down if we're going to have a uh, one machine each. 45 per minute and 45 per minute. Fantastic. Okay. So that's going to be 15 concrete per minute. Now let's head over and get our sulfur. Um, I want to make sure I have plenty of plates. That's good. Well, let's get some more. I actually don't need three stacks of rotors. Uh, reinforced iron plate, on the other hand, I might. Before I do this, I would like to remember to get the yellow slug research started. Oh, that's a little scary. I thought I didn't jump right for a second there. Didn't we just autosave? Oh, or did it start autosaving? Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. We're nearly a fifth of the way done with our smart plating. Uh, aim back for yellow slug. Let's drop a man. And research yellow slug. And then what do we got? Purple slug. I haven't found one of those yet. I don't have any cubes, either. I think the next thing we'll unlock is volatile applications, though. Or maybe Katerium. No, I think we needed the explosives to access the Katerium that we already found. Alright. Is there anything else I want while I'm here? Probably not. In fact, maybe I should move the hub over to our new base. Take some of that stuff. Tidy things up a little bit. Actually, I'll turn this power slug into a couple of power shards because they stack. Is multiplayer fluid? Is it worth boycotting the game for giving into Epic, or should I give it a chance on Steam? Um, 
I got it on Steam quite a while ago. I don't know about any of that. Alright, let's make another one of these. And I'm going to put things like wood and biomass in it. Um, I don't need a bunch of copper ore. Or ingots for that matter. I could have dumped them into those other machines, but I'm really not concerned about that. Um, why don't we make another one of these for food and stuff? And I guess... All of this stuff can go here. I'll put alien carapaces and that sort of thing in here as well. What is the issues with epic? I'm in epic and no issues. Um, I'll take the cable with me. And now that we've got it being produced at speed automatically, we'll just destroy it if it becomes a problem in inventory. Uh, we don't need to keep coal anymore. Copper. Iron. Keep this on me. Just more exotic stuff in this one. Don't need to worry about this stuff. Um, iron products, until we've got a higher throughput, I won't be destroying them. So we'll leave that as it is, for now. Put the Sam ore and sulfur in here. And motors. And wood goes over here. Alright, that should be fine. Nice and neat. Actually, I will take this stuff with me. Okay, cool. Much better. Satisfactory did launch on Steam finally, so I'm just looking around on streams to see what it's like. It's very chill. And there is a surprising... Something I wasn't expecting out of this game that I actually kind of enjoyed is just exploring. Personally been boycotting their predatory practices, also with any games that launch their... with a time delay on Steam for a year or two. Hold on to your principles, it's only a game. Well, if you try boycotting all of the predatory practices of big companies. Um, you're going to have to live in a hut in the woods, unfortunately. Uh, what else was I... Oh yeah, sulfur. Let's go get it. How would you compare it to Factorio, and does multiplayer work? Um, take some of this with a grain of salt, because I haven't been playing Satisfactory uh, for quite a while. Um, but last I checked, basically, um, in terms of, like, building a factory and, you know, complicated uh, production chains and doing clever stuff with circuits or anything like that, as far as I know, there's no clever stuff with circuits in this. Um, but in terms of, like, the scale of your factory and stuff, um, Factorio just has it completely beat. Like, the amount of time that it would take in Satisfactory to build, like, the equivalent to a starter base in Factorio is a lot. Um, and you kind of need mods to be able to build at any kind of scale without a lot of trouble. But I could be a little bit wrong about that. They might have added some stuff quite recently that addresses some of that. Um, like this swooping stuff I haven't actually tried yet. Don't suppose there's a key binding for it. 
or maybe maybe I'm just supposed to hold it down in a particular way. Does multiplayer work? Uh, multiplayer works just fine when I played it with a friend a long time ago. Of course, that's a sample size of one, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, I would like to get rid of this weirdness, actually, and make a ladder over here. I think I hear a spider or a spitter or something. Um, so obviously we need a miner. I think we can probably just belt that straight up. Actually, we could probably use the conveyor belt as a way to get up. Oops. I bet if we had the angle to see the ground over there, this would work. Why don't we just get up there and try it from above? Ladders go. Went a bit far. Perfect. Alright, um, maybe I'll leave that ladder there for the moment. Actually, no, we've got, we've got our ramp. I'll just delete this now. Are there configs to make it perhaps more survival-based with higher threats? Uh, probably check mods for that. Okay, so there's two things... Uh, that I want to build. We're going to have to overclock the... Hmm. I don't... I just realized we're going to bottleneck on at least one little bit of belt if we overclock this. Um, I know we're surely using less coal than this thing is outputting. Um, we're at like 55% capacity. So... Can we do a priority splitter? I think there is such a thing, but we have to unlock it first. Yeah, smart splitters, I remember. I think we're a little way away from getting one of those. But, hey, big bird. Um, but we'll probably be fine if we steal coal from here. What if I give it a splitter and then only have a regular belt going to the right? That might be okay. Convey a splitter. It's not going to line up very well. Foundation. Let's get right in the middle and place it like so. And then we'll place our splitter. Tier 2 belt like so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Uh, this is bad. Every second that this isn't going, we're a little bit closer to having the power shut off. Okay. And then we'll have a regular belt go out this way to make our sulfur-related products. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I almost missed you there. Ben. Yes, there we go. Alright. So, maybe we'll drag our foundations out this way. Make it all nice and neat. I feel like I need some railings over here. Chainsaw time. More than likely in a minute. Oops. Especially considering assemblers are quite big. So, black powder requires sulfur and coal, and so does... How do I change the recipe again? Here it is. Uh, compacted coal. 25 per minute. We need 25 per minute coal and sulfur. Uh, what's 120 divided by 25? It's not gonna... It's not gonna fit very well, is it? We're gonna have to do some... Underclocking? 4.8. So we would need five machines to turn it all into... Compacted coal. Is there somewhere in the game that I can see how much energy this has. Like, if I make the exact same amount of coal as compacted coal and send all of that to the coal plants, are we actually adding energy to it? I should hope so, actually. Considering it costs 25 coal plus 25 sulfur to make... Oh, sorry. It's 5, 5, and 5, 25 per minute for each. Considering it takes 5 coal plus 5 sulfur to make this, it pretty much has to be higher density, right? It costs us a bit of energy to make it as well, of course. We would need... yeah, we need 5 of these machines. Hmm. It's gonna be a bit... spacious. Um... What if we... What if we go this, this way? I think we'll start some foundations over here. Chainsaw. reaching for one, two, three to change weapons. Unfortunately, or weapons or tools, etc. Unfortunately, there's no way to set it up like that in Satisfactory, as far as I know. Alright, so Assembler goes here. I think we'll put the splitters in the middle. So I'll just place one so we have an idea. Oops. Close enough. And assembler goes this way. 
How far apart would it have to be? I think we're going to need another foundation. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's already sticking out. But the idea is... Oh, that's wrong. The idea is that goes down like that, and the bottom one goes over here. Obviously going to have to push it back a little bit further for that. I would like it to be as close as possible to make that work, though. I think three tiles was where it already was. Yep. Well, not tiles, but whatever. One, two, three, four... All right, there we go. That is in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. And then... Same thing over this way. Unfortunately, it doesn't line up with the foundations. I think we're going to have to have at least one more over here regardless. How well is that going to fit? Just fine. Okay. And from here it's pretty easy to line up the rest. Wait. Didn't we say we needed five machines? So this is actually overkill. Oh, except there's the other product, uh, black powder. Okay, so... It's probably fine to only have four of these machines for compacted coal. Since it's got to be more energy dense, um, otherwise there'd be no point to making it. Then it'll be fine to send less than 120 per second at the coal generators. I expect. I hope. Wait, which way are we doing it? This way. Yeah, that looks fine. And that goes there. Uh, most of these are not going to be... are not going to need to be tier 2 belts. Let's see. 25 per minute. So, at the very least, the final ones don't have to be 120. Uh, that includes these ones. All of this is going to be less than 60 per minute, and those two can remain tier 2. We're going to need some power. I haven't actually looked at how quickly black powder would get produced. One, whoops. One, two, three, four. We need more foundations. One, two, three, four. Um, black powder. 7.5 per minute of coal. Self is quicker, but coal is the only one I'm worried about. Um, unless we're not getting enough... Wait, it wasn't a pure node of sulfur, was it? I suppose we could overclock it. I'm pretty sure there's... Oh. 
That's just better. I think I missed the second shot. I can't see it. I really can't see it. There it is. There you go. Okay. Have a little snack. 60 per minute. We're going to have to overclock this, I think. We'll see. Yeah, it's... The ratio was 1 to 1 for the coal and the sulfur. For the compacted coal, wasn't it? 25, 50, 100 per minute. Alright. Do I have... Oh, I actually do have overclocky things on me at the moment. So that's going to be more than sufficient. I also hadn't remembered to run power up here yet. So let's do that. How far does this reach? All the way to the splitters. Fantastic. Uh, so that one's going to go there. I'm not overly concerned about producing a lot of black powder. Um, but this would be... At max speed, 15 per minute sulfur. Currently we need 100, we're getting 120. That actually works out pretty well. I think we'll just have one machine making black powder. And I could do a belt going back to base, but for now I'll just be a bit lazy. And we'll put a container here. I don't think we need to pick this stuff up all that often. Alright, and that would allow us, if we really want to, to have a fifth machine for um, compacted coal. One, two, three, four. That's the wrong way around. That's still the wrong way around. Rotate it first. One, two, three, four. Oh. Okay. Let's bring our coal over this way. That looks a bit weird. It's not going to line up perfectly, but maybe... Wait, is that lined up perfectly? No, of course not. Why would it be? That's... Devastatingly close. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. No. What? Oh no. Ouch. I did not realize I was deleting the ground from under my feet. Okay. Why don't we delete all of these foundations? And we'll make a nice, consistent build like so. that goes there. I 
think there's a foundation missing down this way. Looks a bit weird. Alright, cool. Mm, I guess we're not gonna worry too much about this, except so that, make it so that it's not floating in the air. If I can ever get up here. Uh, split up. Like so. It's not going to matter if we're switching over from coal to compacted coal, right? Like, I could put them on the same belt and there's not going to be any issues with that, I would hope. might end up uh, making the whole system switch off soon. Let's turn that into a Mark 1 belt for the moment. Come to think of it, I should have put some storage for coal in front of the uh, coal plants. I'll probably do that first. Well, not first, I'll do it a little bit later. Currently we have no power here though. I think that's just about the last step remaining. And this might look a little bit better. Okay. Compa oh, we... Do we have sulfur? I think we do, we just haven't connected this belt yet, plus there's some travel time. Also this is... that's a belt mark one. How far does this reach? Fantastic. Alright, can we make this look kind of good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put this one here. And voila. I might just make a fatter foundation over here though. And give it a little ramp. And looks a little bit weird. Feels a little bit weird. Can we put a foundation underneath it? And one more ramp here. Cool. And here comes our first compacted coal. Uh, I think we're getting dangerously close to running out of power though. My hope is that this is so much more efficient. Well, I I'm kind of hoping that we get like extra power out of it as opposed to using coal in the coal power plant. Uh, merges go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. And 
then this belt is going to be taking our compacted coal. Uh, 100 per minute for these four, and I think we added another one over there. So definitely mark two belts, at least for most of it. Mark one belt coming out of the machine. This way. And this way. Oh. So let's see. Um, at 100% speed, this is 25.50 per minute. So after that, we need Mark 2. I mean, over here we... I'm confused. Um, at the end we should have Mark II, obviously. I should start from the back. So this belt can obviously be Mark One, And these two together make... 50 per minute. So this belt would be Mark 1, and the rest has to be Mark 2. Easy. And then finally, get rid of this. Connect this over here. And that's going to be compacted coal fueling our base. Can I put this over here? I can't. Alright, fine. I think I'll just delete it. And not to forget that over here we want black powder. Um. Let's just connect these two, and I'll just do it like that this time. Okay, how are, how close are we to... We are very close to going over with our power usage. Um, capacity says 450 megawatts, which tells me that two of our coal plants are not working at the moment. Probably because we kept interrupting the flow of coal. But I'm interested to see... Oh, hello. So this is regular coal and that's compacted coal back there. We're about to find out um, exactly what the difference is. I wonder why there's gaps. Alright, so 75 megawatt, 15 coal per minute. And perhaps we should take note that it can use 50 cubic meters, oh sorry, 45 cubic meters per minute of water. Didn't think I was going to make that jump. Um, let's make ourselves a little ladder. So we can see exactly when the new coal comes in. There it is. I really hope this is a boost in power output. 
as opposed to uh, fuel density. Because otherwise we're kind of sort of making, uh, spending that power for nothing. Is compacted coal giving better efficiency only, or also other benefits? Also remember they have the internal backlog of normal coal. Yeah, we're about to find out. I could get rid of this coal right here if we want to see results sooner. Um, but I suspect at least one of these machines has little or no coal remaining. Here it is. Because we kept interrupting the belt. So, the compacted coal unusually will be able to get to the very last um, uh, coal generator first. And here it comes. Seventy five megawatt, forty five meter cubic meter. Oh, here we go. Compacted coal, seven point one four per minute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little disappointing. So it really is just more dense coal. Uh, 7.14, that is oddly specific. It's not half of regular coal. How did this one change over so quickly? 15 per minute for regular coal and 7.14 per minute. So it's a little bit more than twice as energy dense as coal. It's like burning paper like burning paper. 8.4 seconds as opposed to 4 seconds of burning. You could run twice as many coal plants, that's true. I would have to build twice as many coal plants, or I could overclock them. I think overclocking... Let's go get some power shards, I want to double check something. Um, obviously with shards being finite, you ultimately don't want to use them in things like this. Um, probably want them to go into miners for the most part. But for now, I just want to run a little experiment. Um, if I recall correctly, overclocking uh, power generators is one place where, you know, you're not going to be like paying more than you're getting out of it. Uh, like, if I overclock it to 200%, I don't think it's like with a regular machine where I have to pay way more than twice as much power to get double the crafting speed. Overclocking is most of the time not efficient. If you look at power slash efficiency, you pay more coal. You pay more coal, okay. Yeah, so if we're paying like more than double the coal to get double the power, um, then that's not too exciting. Although it could still be useful at this stage until I build another row of coal plants. Um, let's see. 75 megawatts and... 8.4 seconds for compacted coal. 150 megawatts, that's double. 4.9 seconds. Interesting. It actually becomes more efficient. Uh, we're using 77 cubic meters of water as opposed to 45, we would have to make some more um, water extractors or and or overclock them. But this is actually more efficient, oddly enough. 12.17, that's less than double the compacted coal. As expected, looking at the 
change in how quickly it burns. Okay, well, we're not going to keep it overclocked for now because we're going to run out of water if we do that. But... Yeah, we could run literally twice as many... Uh, we could run slightly more than twice as many coal generators off the compacted coal. Whoops. Well, should we get started making them? Or do we have enough power for now? Also, I want to set up some storage. Even though we don't have the big storage containers yet, still. Um, I think I'll just do a couple on the ground. Doesn't look quite right. Cool. Whoops. Um, so we should be able to accumulate some compacted coal for... Uh, for when we want to disconnect it and play with it a bit. We can keep the power going for a while. That is what I do. This looks a little bit neater than what we had as well. Okay then. So... I guess we'll go grab the... black powder and do some research. Hello, Tick. Thought it was going to make you bounce there. I would really like to get the ninja legs, or whatever they're called. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually go faster doing this. It's not exactly bunny hopping, but it's a bit more engaging than holding the button down. This also doesn't need a splitter, but I'm not going to bother to touch it just yet. Lovely sulfur. Right, we've already got 75 black powder. Oh, we've got a fluid buffer now. Can contain up to 400 meter cube of fluid. I don't remember. I must have unlocked that a while ago. Let's drop the man. And let's unlock volatile applications this is what we're looking for nobelisk explosives we need steel pipe though i think i have well i could make the detonator already because i've got those uh encased steel beams that we found lying around but it's obviously not going to do me much good rifle is a while away and so is ammo for the rifle. I didn't realize it would be that long before we could get the detonator. That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, quartz is a long and dangerous route away from here. Um, I think I would like to go get some Katerium. I think I remember where to get it without needing the explosives. And also, I've kind of been putting this off and forgetting about it, but um, we should make some... We should make an object scanner. I need three beacons. That was easier than I thought it would be.
What am I scanning for here? Hang on. Oh, it's a slug. I didn't even see it. It's blue. I didn't remember blue slugs being a thing. Is this new? I think the research just has green, yellow, and purple. Oh, did they change green to blue? Blue is the new green. Okay. Uh, also, I think I forgot to say... Oh, hey, Zav uh, Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Midjagas as well. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, so blue is the new green. I guess that's going to look prettier at night or something. There's another one. down this way. And I'm hearing the spider noises again. I feel like there's a giant spider stuck in a rock here or something. Hello? It's probably underground or something. It's gotta be underground. And there's probably a giant spider guarding it. We are right on top of it. Okay then. RV Park. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. By the way, you should probably switch back to the early access release since it was released yesterday. It has the same build number as the one you have now, so it is compatible. Nice. I'm watching another one of your satisfactory streams to try and get into the game. The game is very chill. By all means, I would recommend giving it a go. As long as you have the right expectations for it. If you're looking for, like, precisely 3D Factorio, I think you're going to be a little disappointed. But depending on what you want out of it, probably going to be fine. Uh, let's go get that Katarium. Also, why was there a gap? Oh, I think there's gaps in the compacted coal because... Actually, I don't know why. Well, as long as it's enough to power our base, I'll put off finding out until... A Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I believe to the south and... Uh, to the south slash west is a Ethereum node that we can use. I really love Factorio and Dyson Fear, yet this doesn't interest me for some reason. So here I am lurking in the screen. No worries. Oh, I don't think I've visited this little tiny forest with a gun. Here's another Mercer Sphere. Oh, and there's a good boy. Um, how do I... Oh, he's coming all the way from over there. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. Good boy. No, wait, I was trying to pat you. I messed up. I should have patted him before picking up the, um, the food. Here's one of those tiny little mining outposts that, uh... I should probably stash most of my stuff before I go... Like, all of this is replaceable, but still, I would rather not just drop all of it.
I don't think we're going to need more than 200 sticks, right? Keep the fuel. Don't need this. Uh, I'll... I'll craft the slope. Oh, there goes our power. Actually, I wonder which power just shut down. I hope it wasn't the, uh, the main base. Is it worth going back to restart it? I kind of want to explore. If we let all of the compacted coal that's on the belt accumulate before restarting the whole thing, it'll probably do a bit better. All right, let's... Oh, I'll leave that here, actually. Yeah, I think when we get back from exploring, it's time to make some... It's time to double our coal plants. Thank you. More copper. And this is that big area with lots of iron, or so I thought. It's actually all impure nodes. The slugs are kind of a little bit... No, they're more than a little bit easier to spot during the day. Now that they're blue. Also confirm the whole belt going to power is the same. I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise we wouldn't have got uh, compacted coal into the... Uh, into the coal plants in the first place. Already been up there. I don't remember if we were able to open it though. No, we need quick wire. That's what the beacon is telling us. Um, up there is where we want to go. I could jump over there, but I don't know what that's going to get us for risking everything. to see what we're doing here, but other than that, that works. I think the quick wire is... well, not quick wire, I think the Caterium is over there. The only way to travel. Missed. Can I jump this? Not really. Alright, fine. Ouch. That's rude. It didn't let me switch weapon while it was trying to reload. Love this area of the map? Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I think we need another one of these. Okay. Where's the other one? Here we go. Caterium ore. Pure. Fantastic. Um... Hmm. I... I only need a little bit of it to get the mam started. So maybe... No, we need ingots. Okay. Let's set up a miner. And figure out... Oh. Always forgetting the... Wait, what? That's a container. 
Always forgetting the portable miner. Hundred and twenty per minute, nice. All right, so let's get ourselves a smelter and a biomass burner. All of the biomass. How much power do we need so far? Wait, what? Um, hold on. We need, oh, we need 50 ore to research ingots. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Almost there already. And three seconds later. Quick wire. That's what we need to unlock that thing over there. Um, why don't we see if we can research it right now? We need 50 ingots. And then... Now I'm kind of wishing I brought more stuff with me. Whatever the case. Deuterium ingot, go. Uh, when max consumption is 4 plus 5. We're well within our limits here. I should probably create a retainer. Inflated pocket dimension. I need one of those. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I believe it was 50 ingots that we need to start the next research. Yep. And then while we're here, this only takes three seconds, so while we're here, I think we'll make some quick wire. I think we can handcraft it, actually. Uh, because we just need literally one quick wire over there to unlock uh, probably a hard drive. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, how long is this going to take? 15 per minute is... Uh, like four minutes total. Hmm. If we overclock it, are we going to run out of power? 7.7 .7 megawatts plus four, uh, plus five is like 12. This is using 67 per minute. 120 here. All right, so that is just over two minutes to get our 50 Katerium. And once, we've get, once we get there, I think we'll slow it down so that we get as much as possible from our fuel while we go explore. Oh, speaking of exploring. Uh, I guess I'm leaving that thing overclocked while I run over here. Whoops. A Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No food pictures. Oh no. I think we're going to need a ladder here, maybe. This game is fun, but it's a second job. I don't know about that. 
Um, all right, let's do some ladders. Whoops. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. No big monsters. Nothing to see over here. Alright, what do we got? Needs five modular frames. I don't have any of those. I don't think I've picked up any random modular frames from other crash sites either. And, of course, we're not going to find them right here. On the other hand, we might find just enough wire to make the difference uh, to research something. Alright, let's drop a beacon so we know what we need over here. Um, I think I have to drag it into my hand. So what do we need? Five modular frame. Alright, cool. Keep the health handy at all times. And by now we should have all of the ingots that we need. Inventory is full? Nope. No, I, I dumped a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, it is multiple stacks. I, I dumped a bunch of stuff earlier so we could carry more of this. Though, partly, it turned out not to be a very good idea. Alright, there's our ingots. And while that's going... I would like to slow this thing down. In fact, let's put it... let's drop these down to like... 25%. I want to get quite a lot out of the fuel that we dump into this. Quickwire is complete. And then... Uh, we need 100 quickwire for... this is the path to the... Oh, there it is right there. We just need a hundred... a hundred quick wire for a zipline. Um, can we handcraft it? Well, handcraft isn't exactly accurate. Yes, we can. Is there anything quick I want to research first? Like three seconds? Two minutes for inflated pocket dimension, but I need another 38 uh, reinforced iron plate. Which I think... No, I can't make 38 of these right now. A horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I will make a bit more quick wire. We're gonna need some for that other crash site. And who knows what else. I don't think Katerium ingots are going into anything other than quick wire for quite a while. So I'll just change all of it. Holy cow, so many ads all over the place. Disgusting how many there are, but I don't have admin account to fix host's file to block them. Rip. Yeah, advertisers know no limits. Okay. 
Okay. Are we are we gonna have what we actually need to make the zip line? I feel like we should just go explore and we'll come back here on the way back. If we need any more quick wire to finish. I can't do the I thought I remembered usually being able to do the crouch jump in this water, but it is not working. It's like that bit from Ready Player One, we can fill their visual area 80% with ads before they start having seizures. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's pretty much the mindset. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff way over there. I recall. In terms of exploring, but I don't remember there being anything useful to find. Maybe we'll check it out later when we've got better mobility. Oh, bauxite. This is probably going to open up some research. Or we might need to find another one of these nodes. How many did we get? Nowhere near enough. We got 49. I don't even remember what bauxite is used for. Hello? I thought that was another thing in motion, but it's just leaves. Nice of you to get stuck on a rock so that I don't miss any shots. I hear another one. I think I can climb up this way. Uh, if we keep going along this beach, we'll eventually find oil as well. Though, it's got a long way to go. To get back to our base. This looks like copper. I missed. It is indeed copper. Mmm, organs. Delicious organs. Yeah, it's way over there where the curvy things are, or a little bit further. I thought there would be more to see if I came up this way, but not really. Ouch. I think there's another crash side up ahead. This is where I made my first truck route. Someone needs a jetpack? Absolutely. Raw quartz. How much quartz do we need to research something? Oh. Oh, we're waiting 30 seconds first. Uh, and then we need to see if we can make a zipline already. Not that the zipline's going to be very good out here just yet. Although you can always build power poles um, specifically to zipline somewhere. I do not like doing even the most basic combat while the game is hitching because it's loading an area. Research complete. Fantastic. Beep boop. Uh, we can research Katerium Electronics for three seconds. Actually, can we do this? No. Alright. So, zipline. I think we need an equipment workshop. And we just need a Xeno Zapper. Shut up and take my Xeno Zapper. Fantastic. Okay. That's going to take up that slot later on, I think. But for now, it might be more wise to keep health handy. What else? Uh, AI limiter. Oh yes. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh, that's what we need. So we need 10 cubes to get uh, Blade Runners. And then we're in a whole new league of movement. I know if I explore enough, I'll definitely find those cubes before I can craft them. Actually, can we craft them? What are they called? Frame? Modular frame. Uh, reinforced iron plate and iron rod. Oh, we can, we can make them right now. A whole new League of Legends movement, yes. Except it won't be flaming us. Alright. Best all of my reinforced iron plate that I ever spent. Uh, we need to research it. And now I have no reinforced iron plate to make a man. Whoops. Glad I thought that through. Might just zap these ones. Yes, indeed. Mm, gotcha. The range of this thing is terrible. Where's the rest of them? I should start using alien carapace for fuel more often. Oh, here we go. Here's that crash site. And a big spitter. Move the instant I shoot, why don't you? Did it just hit itself? I think it did. Also, I don't remember killing one of those bees. There's supposed to be three of them. Come on. There you go. Oh, we got some circuit boards. We got more advanced frames. And there's our reinforced iron plate back. Shorty, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this one doesn't need any special stuff to open. Cool. That's another hard drive. Let's get that food over there. I think it's about time to turn back. We want to make sure we get uh, Blade Runners. I think the aliens are perfectly capable of ki killing each other when grouped together. Yeah. Uh, Anisha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, let's see. We are 15 quickwire short of researching Blade Runners, and it's going to take five minutes. Let's go back to get that uh, quickwire. And then, on the way back, we'll also open that other uh, the other crash site. More quartz might be useful. Let's just go around this. Actually, no, that's boring. Let's go this way. Mm, getting a little bit low on ammo.
Didn't send a copy of my troll dog though. What? Okie dokie. Oh, hello. I missed. Oh, I thought it would be dead. There we go. Probably shouldn't have face tanked all that. There's our copper. This was the one that took modular frames, right? Um, yeah, we can see it from the beacon. I don't know if I can afford to make some more. I can make four, that's not enough. More blue power slugs? Is that what I think it is? Oh no, wait, that... That is the crash site that I visited earlier. Okay. Time to get that quick wire. And probably the research isn't close to done yet as well. Let's check on the ma'am, shall we? Uh, we're only... We're less than halfway done. Alright, I guess we'll head back to base and swing by that other crash site on the way. Um, we only need a hundred quick wire to get this one started. Oh! Actually, I think I'll use the... 10 frames that I have. We're actually only one modular frame short from being able to do everything here. Take some Caterium ingots with you? Absolutely. I'm going to be taking all of it. Need them for one of the research items? Yep. Um, I think I'll just make another ladder here instead of going all the way around. Hopefully, well not hopefully, definitely, we're not going to have to build anywhere near as many ladders soon. Although, Blade Runners are not going to let me jump up this high. Another hard drive. Oh, I can get rid of this beacon now. I think it also reduces fall damage. The, uh... I almost wanted to say Ninja Tabai. The Blade Runners. And a Yoink. And a yoink. And away we go. All ladders.
Oh god. Okay, that felt weird. It's just up this hill. Hello. I'll grab that extra quartz. We probably have enough now to research all of the all of the small scale things that require quartz. That didn't take long. I missed. There we go. Um, did I forget to... No, that one was way over that way. Okay. How far away is this? Further than I would like. Okay. Got to move laterally to get an idea of range from the heads-up display. What is that? Oh, it's just a tree or something. And also a yellow... Oh god. Got to do a quick side dodge. You are fast. There we go. I would rather bother to kill these things than make it a surprise. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. Maybe I should stop going for the difficult shots. What the? Oh, it dies after it stings you. I never knew that. Maybe they changed it. Alright, so how do we get up here again? I think if I approach from the other side, there's more of a hill. Like, over this way. Even more charges. I only hit each of them once. Oh, I thought you were dead. Rip. Alright, here we go. Up this way, if we can. Even more charges. Not really interested. Oh, the man is ready. Here we go. One quick wire, and yet another hard drive. Oh, let's get rid of the beacon. Oh, excuse me. You need them? Oh, I thought I saw the chat move. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Alternative recipe for rotors using copper sheets. Uh, bio coal. And a refinery recipe for pure Gatarium ingot. I don't think any of these are particularly exciting, but I'm sure if I, like, go to the wiki and compare them... The, the problem here is 
I can't do any more research until I pick one of these. And I can't really compare them properly. Without, like, really putting some time into it. I don't think I'm going to bother with Biocoal. And I'm not terribly excited about pure Caterium ingots either. You never really need to produce those at terribly high throughput. So I think we're just going to default to Copper Rotor. It is possible that that's going to be... Being able to pour copper into producing something like this is going to take pressure off iron. So... Yeah. Um, but meanwhile, Katerium. Uh, we need five more frames. Can we make them? That's that's not a crafting bench. We can make two more frames. Uh, can we make any rods? No. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time to go back to base. Let's get going. And I think I will take advantage of the movement ability that we do have right now. That being the zip line. Oh god, are you kidding me? Ouch. Uh, apparently it takes longer to open up than I remember. Either that, or the little, ooh, look at this new thing I have animation might have messed me up. Let's try again. So, once we got the electricity thing... I think this is slightly too high. I need a leg up. Why is it doing that? Wait, does it only work if there's electricity on the pole? Is that what's happening? No? No, that works. That works just fine. So why... Why are we having so much trouble with this one? Hmm. Well. One of life's great mysteries, I guess. Oh, there's a lot of glowy things over there. Or is that my base? I think it's my base. You will benefit from the Blade Runners so you can jump higher to catch the wire. That's true. It's very finicky if you're right on the edge of being able to catch the wire. Um, this one? Hello. I can't hit you with the... There we go. Something doesn't look quite right there. Let's go... What's the button for photo mode? Open photo mode, P. Yeah, the level of detail function for some of those green lights is really bad in this exact instance. I guess what I'm looking at is the... The outputs, 
that are like, or the inputs that are highlighted green. That's kind of weird. I wonder if it's in the experimental build and not the regular build. P? P. P indeed. There's a yellow slug up there. Um, this little concrete factory is probably not on the main power grid. I'm not particularly concerned about that right now. Oh, it is too. Never mind. Alright, can we get a ride up here? Nope. Alright, Blade Runners. It is time. We need just a few more modular frames, which means sticks. Oh, I forgot where I stashed all that stuff, but I think we should have a bunch of sticks uh, quite nearby. There we go. And I think we need ten of them. Oh, it makes two at a time. And now we're stuck with an odd number, like a missing underground belt. Tragic. Uh, is there anything I want to research that takes three seconds first? This takes two minutes. It can wait. Even though it is six inventory slots, is kind of juicy. Uh... Power Pole Mark II just requires quick wire, so we'll definitely be paying that a visit. Alright, let's just get this one started, shall we? And while we wait for that, we'll get our uh, power system started again. That should be all it takes to fix it for the moment, because the coal would have reached the end of the belt, but it's not going to address whatever the issue was that caused the whole system to shut down eventually. So, 7.14 times 8 is 57. All of the uh, all of the compacted coal that we need to run this could fit on a regular belt. Um, okay, it's not just at the end of the belt, it's all inside the machines. I think we might run out of power again before... before the coal reaches all the way to the end of the belt. That could be a problem. Then again, because it's compacted coal, um, uh, it's probably going to last significantly longer than I might expect. Let's uh, heal up a little bit, shall we? And then... Up we go. Oh, that's a tree. Yeah, that did not work. How about now? This is going to be tricky. And then around the pole. Fantastic. I could have sworn I timed that correctly, but it sort of latched me onto the wire again. Right, so... 25, 50, 100, 125, uh, 132.5 coal per second. Oh, I think I know what happened. Maybe. I think for some reason I temporarily limited... No? Mark 2. There it is. Belt Mark 1. That was silly. Okay. 
Um, I need some reinforced iron plate to get rid of this bottleneck. I can't remember why I did that, but I should have been tipped off by the fact that there were these consistent gaps. Reinforced iron plate is over this way. Oh, that's a pretty decent amount of it as well. Uh, let's free up some inventory space. Whoops. And I don't think we need more rotors right now. I might just reconfigure where this power pole, uh, power line goes. Not just because it doesn't look right going through the tree, but there's actually a practical reason as well. Okay. Oh. Can't quite reach. What if we do it this way? Nope. Oh. How did that not connect? Now it's going the wrong way. Alright, here we go. And jump. And jump. It, yeah, it's like locking me back onto the wire too quickly. It's uh, much easier to not have things like that happen when you've got the Blade Runners as well. Research is complete. Alright, so now we're not bottlenecking on this little bit of belt here. We should have more than enough to keep the compacted coal going through consistently. May as well pick up the black powder that we've got for now as well. And let's check out the man while we're here. Blade Runners is complete. What do we need to actually make them? Uh, equipment. That's not... there we go. Perfect. Blade Runners. We need two more modular frames and that's all. Oh, give to me those modular frames. Fantastic. Why can't we make them? Not enough space in inventory? How about now? Today is the first day of the rest of this playthrough. Let's get start. Should I do another hard drive or is there anything else to queue up first? Um, yes. Inflated pocket dimension. Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, reset power again. We might have to do this a few times, but there's going to be more than enough compacted coal heading down to the coal, plant, uh, coal power plants now. It's probably best just to wait until it shuts off. Well, I mean, that's what we're doing anyway, I guess. Wait until it shuts off plus, like, the amount of time that it takes the coal to get down there. And that's going to take the fewest reboots to get stable. Equip your legs? Oh yeah, good point. Oh, that's so much better. Ah. I feel freer and lighter. Alright, now that it's much easier to move around, 
let's go get that quick wire. And I should have put down a... I really should have put down an assembler to make quick wire as well. And we could have underclocked them a lot and just gotten a lot of mileage out of... Um, out of the fuel. Where are we going? Boing. 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 Oh. I'm going so fast that charges can sort of like appear in front of me. Don't tell me I've dropped this where I can never pick it up. No. No. Please. I hope it I hope it will at least despawn eventually. Also, I think the research is done. Inflated pocket dimension. Fantastic. Um anything else? Catarium Smart Splitters, that's what I want. It requires uh, AI limiters, it looks like. So, not the items that I've already picked up randomly. Why can't I... I'm trying to view what, what I need for... Okay, whatever, let's get Power Ball going. Actually, let's... Let's get the next hard drive started. And maybe we'll do another little explore. Maybe head over to where the oil is. Actually, maybe I'll go the other way. I know there's oil if you go around the, uh, like, clockwise direction, around the southeast. I've never gone that way to set up the oil before, so that'll be a bit different. I don't think this is going to avoid fall damage, but it barely does anything. What's that? Oh, more quads. Use broken again. Oh, it doesn't die when it... So how did that other one die? It's just copper. Oh, there it is. Almost forgot to actually pick up what we came for. Oh, and I also forgot... Um, I usually like to build something at the uh, crash sites to make sure I remember that I've cleared them already. Why isn't this crash jumping? There we go. Alright. Um, Ma'am. I know we're researching the hard drive right now, but what do we need? 300 quick wire. I'll put down a constructor instead of this thing. And we're making quick wire. And I guess I'll add a, a container. And what are we making? 3.75 per minute is maybe a little bit slow. 60 per minute is quite quick. Uh, no, it's probably fine. 
Okay. Make sure we power it. I guess I should be setting up a line of power lines. Partly so that I can use them for movement. Bear in mind the angles for uh, using the zip line when I build these from now on. Actually, that's going to be too steep. But I don't think I can make this one reach over there, can I? Oh, I can. That should be fine. Where to now? Up here? Seems good. This one might be a bit tricky. I think I can get up there. Well, I know I can get up there if I Fortnite my way up there. Can I actually... Is that going to work? That seems safe. Why is that not connecting? There we go. And then there's not going to be anything for that to connect to, actually. I think I was misremembering the map slightly, but maybe we could just do it like this. I think it's going to reach up there, maybe. Gonna have to go all the way around if I don't do this. Can I not? Uh. No, this is too far. Alright. How about up there? Then up here. I should probably just build containers or something when I want a ladder. It's going to be easier. Depends on how big the ladder has to be. Perfect. And then up here. Oh, I forgot to build our little victory pole over there as well. We'll get it on the way back. How about this? That's going to cut through the tree. Maybe up there? I don't think that's going to work out very well. 
about this. And then... That's terrible, actually. Unless I make a floating platform or something. It's not going to work out too well. If we do it up this way, are we going to bump into the ground? That's fine. Do I want to go through here? That should be okay. And then... Almost time to go down to the shore. Actually, that might be okay. That wouldn't be okay. What about this? Maybe. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I kind of want to put it on this rock. Nah, uh, let's just minimize the number of times we have to jump. That's too far. Ma'am, research complete. What do we got? Stitched iron plate. I seem to remember that being good. We can make charcoal out of wood and coal. That is possibly the least exciting thing I can think of. Unless there's some way to automate wood. Uh, we can make more concrete out of uh, silica and limestone. don't really foresee desperately needing to increase the throughput of concrete and wanting to bring a whole other product into the process of making it. So, stitched iron plate is winning by a lot, I think. We've got one more hard drive. Um, I don't think I can make 300 quick wire. Oh, I can. Let's do that, I guess. We're going to end up with the remainder. Oh, well. halfway there already. Should probably take a short break next time I need to do something like that. Alright, 40 to go. On the other hand, I guess it's possible that some roaming creature could come and kill me over here. Okay. Power pole Mark II. Uh, I forget how many connections we can get from this one. But it's significantly more than four. Let's get going. I think I would like to drag the power poles all the way to uh, the usual oil production place. I think we already opened this.
Oh, there's some stuff over on those islands worth checking out, though. I remember that much. I don't suppose I can... Since you can connect these to... Since you can connect power to the uh, drop pod sometimes, it's not possible to build a power pole on top of them. And this one's just forbidden. Okay. I see how it is. Oh. More creatures appearing in front of us. I missed. One of them dodged it and it hit the other one. I missed. Okay. Let's go over here. I'll keep the zip lines away for the moment. Many poison clouds. Or poison flowers, I should say. There's a... a yellow slug over there that I would have to take damage to get. I forget, but I think it might be fine to just eat a bunch of berries to not die through that. If you don't have the gas mask. What is this? It's iron. There it is. I think there's a couple of boss monsters over there. There's also something weird and interesting to... Uh, if you have explosives in that rock over there, I think. Let's go check out this crash site. Yeah, there's a big charger and a big spitter. Hopefully I can split them up. Ouch. Big Spitter's still alive, actually. Oh, big charge is awake. This is... and I've run out of rebar. I should have paid more attention there. Like, before I came in. I'm not gonna be crafting ammo. I could have sworn you hit me. I could have sworn he bumped me, but I didn't take damage there. Yeah, it happened again. Like, that was... that one was definitely unambiguous. Are you stuck? Um, okay, let me see if I can... Ouch. Ouch. Got a bit of ammo. Ouch. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. No more distractions. Mem research is complete. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's one way to deal with it. Pro strats. Ow. You sneak. This little guy going for MVP.
Olej. How many, how many hit points do you have? Okay, there you go. Up into the air. Fantastic. Alright. Let's get some more ammo before we deal with the ranged one. One whole stack sounds nice. Gonna shoot at least once. Ouch. How many hit points do you have? There we go. Delicious organs. There's another yellow slug up there. This one is much more attainable. It's got to be in and out. Too slow. Where's that berry that I just saw? I could have sworn I saw a berry. There it is. Yoink. Okay, so how do we open this thing? Oh, computer. Heavy modular frames. Reinforced iron plate. I'm not missing anything else on the ground, am I? Doesn't seem that way. What's this? Sulfur? Limestone. Okay, what do we got? No requirements? Another hard drive. Power poles Mark II complete. Fantastic. Um, 200 quick wire and I can unlock the AI limiter. I don't know if I have enough on me to make that. I do. Easily. All right, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be back in a minute. How do you auto lock on the crafting bench? Uh, spacebar. Okay, and we've got just enough, uh, Katerium? Oh, way more than enough Katerium. To get the AI limiter. Fantastic. 
And next is high speed connector. We need plastic for that. But more importantly, smart splitter. Uh, AI limiter is... We can actually make seven of them right now. We just need more quick fire. And we can unlock sp uh, smart splitters. Thought you had to hold it down? Yeah, I thought so too for a while. Uh, for kind of a long while, actually. Alright. So I think now's as good a time as any to head back, unless we see something just over this hill. Um, there's a splody rock over here. Looks like there's a purple slug inside. You can see from these uh, purple effects right here. That's something to try to remember for later. Maybe I should put a beacon. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. I actually have a couple of beacons in my inventory already. And normally I don't craft them until I need them. Uh, explosives. Iron. Okay, what? The rare levitation berry. Okie dokie. And a yellow slug. Oh. I figured that was too good to be true. Yeah, man. Oh, it's another big boy. Got some ammo this time. And I missed. It's not just that I want to do this the easy way, it's much more damage, a lot quicker to kill it with this. There he goes. Now. This could all stack. Okay. Oh, don't forget the yellow slug. And by the time we get back to base, the compacted coal should well and truly be where it needs to be. Um, I love these big, weird arches. This is a very cool, like, alien world design. I can't imagine... It's probably like a... I mean, it looks like a rock, but if anything, some an explanation that might make sense to steal from Subnautica is if it was some kind of, like, coral growth or something. I don't necessarily think I should be bothering to kill these things. But, oh, wait, this is oil, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to be here at some point. Missed. Oops, concentrating too much on aim. That looked weird. Okay, I'll leave those alone for now. And those. And you as well. Another oil patch. Can't do the big jump here. I think this particular arch leads to kind of a cool area as well. Oh, careful. Oh, no, no, no. Ouch. It's up here though. Um, I don't really want to bother killing this stuff and everything right now. I want to get back to the base for the moment. But there's a big indoor cave in that general area. 
uh, with some cool stuff in it. Alright, here's our zipline. Let's see if we can get back without falling. Apart from having to hold down the one button constantly, uh, this is a very chill way to travel. It's a very pretty game. Oh, I was afraid of that. It did the aggressively latching back onto the cable thing. I don't know why, I just had sort of an intuition that it would happen at that angle. Doesn't look very realistic. Sticking out. Oh, and there's our destination for the moment. Uh, even though I'm not sure we need it strictly right now, I think I should probably pick up all the quick wire I can eat. Oh, and this is actually the end of our power poles for the moment, anyway. Uh, so we got 23... 400 quick wire, fantastic. Where are these lying around as well? Alright. Power pole over this way. This feels safe. Move it a little bit. And then down here. Just reaches. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, hello. Did that one just run off the edge, or... no? Okay. Should we just go straight back to base from here? I think so. too long. I thought I was running out of resources. Maybe if it did a slight zigzag it would be a little bit easier to jump from one wire to the next. Excuse me, I'm busy. There we go. More sulfur. Almost home. And while there's room in my inventory, I think I'd like to go pick up this stuff as well. Uh, it's actually not that exciting. Let's get some rods. I 
as well leave the rest. Why don't we link all of the... That almost reaches. No, it doesn't. Link all the little satellite bases as well. Just one big power network. I don't see a power pole that we're going to connect to. We'll probably have to add one. Unless... That's going to go through the machine, isn't it? There we go. Alright, no power. Let's tidy up our inventory a little bit. Hello? Oh, it's finished. There. Can make more quick fire. Uh, let's check on research. It's not currently doing anything. Oh, that's right. We need just a few more things to unlock uh, smart splitters. And that being three AI limiters. Oh, cool. I actually need ten, but I meant three more compared to what I was able to make before. And here we go. Whoops. Alright, let's go check on our coal situation. That's weird. The whole system switched off, but it still looks like it's burning coal, graphically. It's definitely not doing that, though. Alright, so we got a hundred compacted coal in this end, no surprise. And a hundred in this end. So... I don't think we're gonna have any trouble here. I think this will be the last time we have to flick that switch. There should be compacted coal reaching these uh, generators by the time by the time we need more coal. However, I definitely would like to add more coal generators. Um, we could build above them a towering monstrosity of vertical coal plants with the pollution going directly into the ones above them. Or we could just... Well, let's see where the next three water extractors are going to fit before we get ahead of ourselves. I think we can fit three of them pretty easily. Can we put that there? And that there? I don't think we can manage to get a pipe out of there if we do that. But the principle is sound. Oh, what are you doing in the water? Missed. I would really like to get the better melee weapon already. I don't know where the other charger went. Maybe it's stuck under one of the water extractors or something. Oh, it literally was. Hello. Okay, let's spin that around, one, two, and then the other one's going to face this way, and we can probably, uh, I probably need to put a foundation out here first, but other than that, we can probably get a junction floating between these two. I 
maybe like this. Is that going to line up? It's looking pretty good. It's looking very good. Fantastic. I don't know how I keep bringing up the customizer. Pressing Alt or X or something? Alt X? Why would that bring up the customizer? X is my deconstruction button. Alt is what exactly? Alt plus mouse wheel up down. Left alt. Quick apply material in hotbar modifier. Okay, that's a weird choice. Um, I don't think I even pressed alt there. X, X. Yeah, I didn't press alt. Is it literally just press that button twice? It's kind of strange. All right, let's put you here, just far enough apart that we're sure we can connect the pipe. And this one goes over here. And then I remembered that if we do this, we're going to bottleneck on the pipe. Um, this produces 120 cubic meters of water per minute. How do you get the zipline tool? Um, you need quick wire. So, Katarium. Oh, hold on. Wait, what did we finish researching? I clicked through it. I thought it was a hard drive. Oh, dear. Oh, it was smart, uh, smart splitters, wasn't it? It was also a programmable splitter. Um, okay, so go to Katarium and it's one of the earliest uh, things that you can get from it. You'll need Katerium to unlock Katerium ingot, to unlock quickwire, to unlock zipline. Smart splitter? Yes indeed. Mr. Driver? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so this pipe can do 300 cubic meters a minute. That's more than I thought. Um, and this is 120 per minute each, so that's 360. So yeah, it would still be a problem. Um, we can have these two share a pipe. I could put another junction on top of this. Either way. Um, I think... I kind of want to do another coal plant here, but there's not really going to be enough space. Maybe over this way. Oops. Oh yeah, I think there's a big flat space over this way. This will do just fine. Let's measure. We know exactly how many foundations we need for this. Uh, 11 or 12? Call it 12. Oops. Not quite there. Alright, foundation. I want to make sure I start at the highest point. Maybe like here. And that could be placed a little bit better. One. Four, five, six, eight, nine. This is actually bigger than I thought. Um, I don't really want to kill that tree. Let's just do it down here. 
I don't mind killing these little things. I don't have any fuel on me. Um, let's just go... Let's just pick this stuff up, because we're going to pick it up anyway. Either that or bury it in concrete. That's not what I was looking for. Just need a little bit of solid fuel. That'll do for now. We're not going to end up using up all the biomass anyway. And then please make the chainsaw noises stop. Okay. Foundation right about here. Three, four, six. That's kind of still encroaching on the tree a little bit. Let's go this way. There we go. And we need, like, four of these out this direction, I think. Whoops. Build mode, build mode default, toggle build mode. Sample building? Oh, right. Let's try Zoop. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yes, please. This is part of what that one mod did. Um, I don't think I can do two dimensions, though. Set your build mode to Zoop. Yes, indeed. Thank you, uh, Trip. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Alright, so I think that's enough space for the coal plants. Coal generators, whatever. Actually, I want to leave... I know we've got, like, a little bit of extra space here, so I want to leave some room. Is that sticking out beyond this? It is. Can I use soup with the coal generators? Let's see. Mm, no. I don't see a build mode. We can just use alt for that. I don't have any more. Uh, let's go get some more... I'm blanking on the word. Uh, rips. Reinforced iron plates. And while we're at it, let's check on the status of the compacted coal on the belts. I'm seeing it here, so it must be pretty good. Yeah, we've already accumulated an extra hundred. Alright, so that's the end of... Uh, our power system going out every little while. Even before we add more coal generators. But we're going to double it anyway because the belts can... The compacted coal on that belt can more than support it. How many more coal generators can I make with this? Less than four. That's not very good. Probably because this hasn't been running for that long. Hey, big bird. Um, I need some more reinforced iron plates. I know there is a couple of places I can get them from the old base.
Ooh. Keep the vertical velocity. Alright, so we got zero here, actually. But a hundred here, and there's a few more on the belt. So that means I can make uh, 16. I also need some cable. Oh, and what does this require? Quick wire, sticks, and concrete, as opposed to regular wire, sticks, and concrete. Cool. So that's a good reason to make sure we've always got some quick wire. Go get some more cable, otherwise we'll run out of that before we finish the coal plants. And it's over here. My inventory is full. I never got around to clearing, uh, to sorting it. That's not going to clear out my inventory either, because I've got one more hard drive. How did I end up with this many screws? Uh, alright. Let's see what we can turn into other things. This beacon is not helping. No, we need to go back to base and drop off some of this stuff. Oops. That looks very nice. Okay. Health and flowers and stuff. Advanced things. Um, I'll keep the hard drive for now. I think I'll just destroy the beacon, honestly. And... Got so many screws. Oh, I should use the, um... I should use the sink. Now that we've got power to spare and stuff. Let's just make a container here. Not quite here. Why doesn't... Oh, I have no plate. Okay, we'll make a faster belt then. Alright, get out of here, screws. And rods. And probably not rotors. Maybe a few rotors. And wire. Alright, that's fine for now. And black powder. Okay. Continuing on our quest to have inventory space. Bauxite goes here. Overclockies go here. Um, I need to double check how much quartz I need to research something next time. I'll keep the hard drive. This goes here. And this goes here as well. Alright, that should be fine. What do we got? Three? Four? Really, I didn't pick up the cable. Whoops. Okay. Did I build more foundations than I need, or did I just miscount that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We definitely have extra foundations. Okay. 
So first of all, the splitters. We'll bring the coal from over there, so we'll start on this side. And I've run out. Okay, more plate please. There should be quite a lot of plate back at base at the moment. There it is. Oops. That is concrete. That is plate. And that is me falling again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. So this is kind of sticking over the edge a little bit. I could put them a little bit closer. But, uh, like that. of it. Um, didn't really matter because we're going to need a foundation behind for Actually, I want to elevate the pipes a bit. Maybe, maybe if we do a foundation like that, let's turn off super mode, shall we? Like this, and if we put a junction up here. It's really hard to see where it lines up. It's looking pretty good. Maybe like that. Let's see what the pipe looks like. Yeah, I can deal with that. But maybe we could have it stick out a little bit more. Or maybe we could use uh, pipeline support instead. Um, build mode noodle, horizontal to vertical, auto, auto 2D. Um, I think we want horizontal to vertical and move this back again. Oops. So, like this. That doesn't look that much better than if I hadn't bothered, I think. What if we do one of these? Just line it up. 
put it up as high as possible. Connect that like so. Much better. I like that. Okay. That was creepy. Um, I don't think... Build mode vertical? I didn't know that was... Okay. Default zoop vertical. Does zoop just mean horizontal? Let's do a four meter. No. Let's do a two meter. And a junction. That doesn't really work. A two meter and a one meter in a junction? Okay, there we go. I might just remove the support. And... Really? What? Oh, it's moved over by one tile. Okay. And it's really hard to get the perspective right here. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. A Westex. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, also... Can we maybe... Put the thick foundations at the same height as these ones? Oh my goodness. Please? There we go. Set your build mode to zoo. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a good reminder actually. Zoop. And go. Some of these are sort of hovering, but... No big deal. Night goes sleepy? Yes, indeed. Uh, that's going to line up with the middle, isn't it? Not where we want... Oh, oh, good. Fantastic. Alright, so the rest of these are going to be a lot easier to place, I think. And we've run out of... Uh... Copper... Sheet. Luckily we've got another 200 right here. Off we go. Oops. Is that lined up properly? No. Oh, it's so nice being able to just automatically jump over those. There we go. Might be a bit easier if I get on top of the coal generators. Gotta resist the temptation to crouch jump because it's actually gonna send me too far. Alright, one, two, three. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one are we missing? That's the one up this end, isn't it? Fantastic. Alright, so make sure all of these are actually connected. 
Whoops. Not like that. And then... Get the old chainsaw out. Get rid of the tree that's going to be stuck there forever. to destroy the rest of this stuff. Okay, and we need two pipes coming from over here, otherwise... Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the stacking pipeline supports yet. Actually, we can probably unlock that right now. Uh, awesome shop. Oh, I have to go and re... I have to go and claim the tokens, don't I? Maximum clipping? 3D spaghetti, right? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Hey, JD plays. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. The awesome sink is over here. We haven't... Oh, we've got six coupons already. Um, considering the crap that I dropped in here that I didn't want, that's actually pretty good. These are the first six tokens, though, so we get those much more easily than the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Um, but I can spend these at the shop, and what I'm looking for is uh, the stackable... Is it from the shop? It's not an attachment. Organization? No. Equipment? No. Parts? No. Uh, pipe? I don't think this is actually a shop item. I think those are with tier 4 belt. Okay. Let's go check the... Um, hub. Tier 4. Up oh, there it is. Hypertubes. Wait, no. Stackable hypertube support. Um, what about... It's obviously not jump pads. Vehicular transport or basic steel production. Logistic 3. Stack of all pipeline support. There it is. We need steel. Um, that is slightly upsetting. We're not going to get steel before we get this little cosmetic thing just to finish our coal plant. Uh, let me check if there's anything I want to spend my four tokens on, though. Um, this stuff is new. walls. Oh, you can get doors now. Amazing. Wait. Could you not get doors before? I can't actually remember. Conveyor lift floor hole. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, some foundations I kind of do want. This one, double ramp pack. That makes it easier to connect them. We'll see if there's anything low cost that I value more than that first. Factory ladder. I wonder if these are still as finicky as they were before. Modern catwalks look different from industrial walkways. These look much nicer. Um lights medical box oh it's just a skin for the storage okay uh except for the coffee cup 
this is really silly to spend tokens on. These are incredibly cheap and tokens get exponentially more expensive. Same goes for all of these. Alright, let's just get the um, the double ramp pack and the ladder. I, I'm actually curious to see if the ladder is still as awkward as it was before. These are automatic doors, the old ones were just doorways. Yeah, I thought so. Cyber wagon? A factory cart? I'm sorry, maybe next time. Um, so we need pipe. We need two pipes coming from over here because pipes are our bottleneck for the water that we need for eight. Um, Eight coal plants? Oh, we definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> Build mode. Where is it? Arm? Maybe I can do this one like so. Can I do vertical to horizontal instead? Guess not. Hmm. Just have to do it this way. Why is this yellow? Oh, it thinks it's encroaching on that, where it clearly is not. How far can we reach this far? Oh, doggo. I don't have any berries on me. Oh, berries. Okay. Doggo. I think it was trying to run away and it ran into a wall and now it's confused. The part where it, it bends depends on the starting point. Okay. Oh. Wait, he ran off. You little sneak. How dare you not get domesticated today. Okay. So this, so if we weren't doing the yellow um, thing where it's claiming that it's clipping, we could come out this far. I wonder if we would have trouble getting this pipe out if we do that. Nope. We can't quite stack these on top. Oh, yes we can. We did it. Stackable pipes. No worries. Easy peasy. Nothing weird about this. Alright. Let's run this pipe under Tick's legs. Why is it red now? Is it is the tick actually in the way? It actually was. Okay, I don't want it running through the ground. That's a bridge too far for me. And let's have one of them going in at each side. Oh, I actually can put this one on top of here. Oh, because... Because there's nowhere to connect the pipe, so now I could do this one a bit more neatly by putting it on top of this one. That doesn't look so bad. Oh, it's a pet? If you hit them repeatedly with a basher, they lay down and you can pet them forever. I don't think that's the way to domesticate them, actually. Alright. So this is our goal over here. 
Let me just stand over here. Oh, why is it hitching so much? What on earth is it loading? Alright, this one goes... Here. And... This is not... Oh, it just barely reaches. Which one looks better? I think... This one? I said nothing about domesticating them, just patting them. How dare you. Alright, so we got... We need to power the pumps. I don't think it's going high enough that we're going to need one of those little uh, riser thingies, um, pipeline pumps, but if we do, that's no big deal either. We need one, two, three, four connections. Uh, sure, put the power pole on top of the... Yeah, what could go wrong? That doesn't look weird at all. You saw nothing. Okay. So this is going to be coal plant number two. I think everything is in place. We do need to upgrade some of these belts. So that is... 60 per second going to the last one, two, three, four. Just put the power pole in the water. I hear water likes power. Water loves power. A little bit too much. So this is going to be uh, pretty conveniently... A continuation of the coal belt from down here. We need to add a splitter to this though. And we also need to upgrade some of these belts now. Mark 2, Mark 2, Mark 2, Mark 2, and this one is already Mark 2. Okay, over here. Let's make it go up this way, actually. What am I missing? Oh, reinforced iron plate again. Hold on. Did I forget to... No, I did not. Okay, cool. Zipline, go. Over here, we should have a few reinforced iron plate. Uh, a hundred. That's actually pretty good. Considering it hasn't been running for that long. Aggressively grabbing the wrong cable. I need a Mark II over here. And over here. Fantastic. Oh, 
Okay. That looks like it's going to be about all of the water that we're going to get out of this little pond. Unless we overclock it. Coal is already coming, uh, comp compacted coal is already coming through at full speed. Let's check that we're getting on enough water. At the highest point, the pipe is full. Seems good. Seems very good. Okay. We should see... Why is it idle? Oh, because we haven't connected the power yet. Well, that's definitely going to speed up the process of filling out each of these with coal. But I think that can wait. Darkness of Alf... Darkness of a Flying Toaster. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, it lets us put power poles in here now? That's nice. Um, I want to make sure it's two, one pole per every two machines. So this one and this one. Wait, did I... Did I just connect the... Did I connect the coal generators to each other? I did. Curious that you can do that. Very interesting choice. I wonder when we get batteries. Whatever the case, this thing is complete. I see, once again, the second last one is the last one to spit out any... Uh, maybe I just missed it. Yeah, I see what's happening here. Although it is amusing that the smokestack disappears instantly when the thing shuts off. So it's going to take a little while to saturate coal into all of these inputs because they can accumulate a stack each before they'll let all of the rest of the coal through. But yeah, that is going to be a lot more power than we need for a while, I think. Actually... We're consuming... Oh, right. Um, I didn't actually connect this yet. Not to mention that... It's going to be spotty in how much power it's producing for a little while. Where should I connect this? I need concrete again. Let's go get some, shall we? You need steel for batteries? Okie dokie. I think steel is our next target because there's been quite a few things that we need uh, that demand steel. That is a lot of concrete. And power pole. Go burn. This one. Oh, we can just connect that directly. Uh, 
Fantastic. So now we should have, yeah, quite a lot more power than we need. More than double. That's going to last a while. Whoops. So what's our goal now? Charcoal? Definitely not. I do not care about turning wood into, into different coal. Especially when I've already got compacted coal. Fused wire. A single assembler can make 90 per minute. What's the usual rate of wire construction? The other... It's a toss-off between iron wire and uh, fused wire. Iron wire obviously simplifies our production chain in some places, especially where there's more iron than copper, but I just want to check. So wire normally is 30 per minute, and this is 90 per minute. Produced in an assembler as opposed to a constructor though. So we should expect that considering how much power you have to put in. It does require getting Katerium there and this actually, this on the other hand simplifies things. Five iron ingots becomes nine wire as opposed to one becomes two. So it's almost as good of a ratio. That makes 30 per minute. This is slower. That's kind of bad. I feel like eventually being able to churn out wire at a crazy pace with one machine um, is going to be more interesting and valuable than being able to make wire slower out of a different material. You can press O to search a recipe. O? Or is it C for codex? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for fused wire even though it's going to be a long time before it's worth doing that. Thought it was O. I don't know what O is in this game. I could check the... I think... I don't know if my controls are very default. Yeah, I think I did have to install it on this machine recently, so most of this should be default. Uh, I'm not seeing any... any O's. Maybe I changed it. Oh, whatever the case. I think we're going for fused wire, right? Pretty sure it was N. Okie dokie. Also, uh, a Droxor? I don't think I said. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, fused wire it is. And before we throw in another hard drive, let's check if there's anything else to do. I think unlocking steel is the next thing we should focus on. Um, but yeah, quartz, we've definitely got enough. Let's get quartz out of the way. These are really basic researchers. There's two of them, N for just a search box, and I'm sure the other one is O. Yeah, I might have changed it. C for codex is much more reachable and intuitive for me. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, quartz. Let's pop down a mam over here. We've got another a whopping two coupons available after everything we dumped into that. Um, uh, before I get confused, let's do this. 
and quartz. And we need a hundred quartz crystals. We're not going to get that until we find a node. Just get this one out of the way. And that was not very exciting. Again, I could unlock the detonator, but we need steel pipe to unlock the explosives. Okay, I think it's hard drive time. Yeah, it's hard drive time. Alright, let's look at our milestones, shall we? Should be pretty easy to knock some of these out now. Um, I guess we may as well knock this one out immediately. Probably could have done that a bit sooner. Although 300 iron plate is nothing to scoff at. Four minutes until we can do the next one. Vehicular transport gives us some inventory slots. And I remember the trucks being surprisingly good. Um, it's very easy to get that done as well. Steel production is actually pretty easy as well. We just need to get 50 modular frames. Pick up some wire. Let's get that done first. I thought I turned down the autosave frequency. Um, gameplay... Oh, 15 minutes. That is relatively low frequency. Okay. What do... We need 50 modular frames. Uh, I can do that right now. It's 32 times 2, right? No, it's not. So we're going to need some more reinforced iron plate. Unless we've run out of rods first. We've still got two minutes before we can start the next... Uh, we can unlock the next milestone. I should probably automate these. Once we unlock steel, I think I'll give the second base some attention and get rid of the underclocks on the miners. And we'll make the most of the We'll, we'll make all of the iron products. Only 44. Um, where is... We need more sticks. Levi Tapok, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, that's going to be 50. And I just happen to have exactly the right number of rotors on me for this. like we're getting there with 20 seconds to spare. Meanwhile we're halfway just from the trickle of um, smart plating from this machine we're halfway to finishing that section of uh, 
phase two of the space elevator. All right. Smash that button. Let's go. Milestone reached. Steel and vehicular online. transport. Country grants access to new simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Okie dokie. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward as well. We have to wait seven and a half minutes before we can... Okay, we're definitely doing this next. Um, three inventory slots and a hand slot and the Xeno Basher. I need 26 rip, a thousand wire. Okay. It's only going to take a minute to collect. Actually, let's pick up this first. Can I make this jump? Yes, indeed. That's annoying. I can't see without power how much coal coal power generates consume on map capacity. Yeah, it doesn't show the consumption rate until it starts doing its thing. Um, how many... Oh, I should have selected the milestone so I can see what we need. We need cable as well, I forgot to pick that up. Boing. Do you know offhand, as I have one pure coal vein nearby, so I wonder how many it can supply. Uh, if it's regular coal, 15 per minute per coal generator. Yep. It gets a bit weird with uh, compacted coal, for example. It's like 7.12 or something. But the regular coal is a nice even 15 per minute. Okay. Did I just forget the... Did I forget to get the cable again? I think there's some more over here. Alright, let's get some rods as well. It's normal, so 8 coal gen I need to save that for. Yeah. Uh, I think the smallest perfect ratio is 8 coal generators to 3... Uh, uh, three water extractors. Let's take another stack just in case. Well, I'm not going to stand around for four minutes waiting to unlock this. So what do in the meantime? Let's go get more Caterium ore. I mean, uh, Quickwire. There should be a decent amount of it by now, and I can go and stop underclocking it as well. Resistance on my usual mouse surface. What? 
is my is my shadow just just like a pair of hands or something oh that's dangerous oh god oh no okay let's not do that next time let's just do it this way Oh, and while we're here, I'll put down a little victory pole. Um, let's grab our ingots and quickwire. And that sound li sounded like the man was finished. What do we got? Bio coal again. Copper alloy ingot. You can turn iron and copper into more copper. It actually turns... So this is normally 1 to 1. And this turns 15 into 20. 2 copper for each iron. That sounds kind of useful. Also pure Caterium ingot means you can use a refinery with water to... Uh, to smelt 12 per minute? Hold on. 2 Caterium Ore becomes 1 Ingot, whereas normally 3 becomes 1 Ingot. Okay. So you can get more Ingots for the Caterium by adding water. <laughs> water. It's water. Yes, indeed. I don't know. Um, refineries are obviously quite a ways off. I don't remember having any issues with throughput of quickwire, uh, of uh, Caterium. Making more copper out of iron sounds very... Um, has potential as well. Depending on how you split things, you know, the iron could go to iron or copper as a priority. This maybe sounds better, question mark? This is the sort of thing that would be much more useful with circuit conditions. You could check how much iron and copper you've got stored and make a decision based on that. Except then you would need to be able to change recipes as well. Oh, this is made in a foundry as well. A hundred per minute? Okay, I'm listening. Um, so you get extra... Extra metal. One iron becomes two copper, and it does a hundred per minute in a single foundry. We don't have foundries yet. Actually, I think we just unlocked them. Uh, here it is, because it makes uh, steel. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots. Can be automated. Considering we've got an iron base with plenty of iron next to, like, one copper node, this actually makes a ton of sense right now as well. Let's grab it. And that was actually our last hard drive. I'm free. Okay. Uh, unless I go and get that purple slug that I actually can't get right now. We don't have any research to do. Let's grab the quick wire before we go. And the ingots. And head over this way. There's actually a location I think have in mind. I think I remember doing iron there before. Five modular frames required down this way. That's, um, that's something I'm pretty sure we can do. Oh yeah, I also forgot to try ladders. 
Let's get rid of this one. Didn't leave anything floating. Okay. Let's see if this is a bit janky still. I remember finding it rather easy to fall off of ladders as well. Kind of hard to see how high it needs to go as well. Oh well. In this instance, I would say this is an improvement, but we could have just put the um, we could have just put the stackable conveyor poles facing the other way. I was interested. Just had a spider follow me for about two hundred meters. Uh, I had a spider. I actually made a little video of this. Um, I had a giant spider chase me for a while. I, I, I completely wasn't expecting it. It was early game. I, I wasn't prepared. I fought and ran and fought and ran. And kind of ran away from it finally in the end. And then I think it teleported back to its usual spawning location, which happened to be directly in front of me. Oh my god. Did... Did that just happen? Rip Lizard Doggo. What, what the hell? He just turned around and looked at me as he flung himself off the cliff. Why? Why, Lizard Dogger? He's not safely down here somewhere, is he? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, no. Rip, Doggo. You need to save him like Spider-Man, but I'm not Spider-Man. When I showed local spiders to my friend, he was screaming like a girl. Yeah, there's an arachnophobic mode for this game for a reason. Although, one could argue that the arachnophobia mode is more terrifying. Arachnophobic mode is scarier? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I hope there isn't- oh. Is this the same doggo? Did it just teleport back or respawn or something? I hope so. Don't back off of the cliff again, please. Gave him a second chance. <laughs> Just found four coal veins with pureness of normal, so maybe I'll use those? Yeah, by all means. I think there's another pure coal node over this way. That's the one we'll probably use uh, for steel. I think you need... Oh, it's this place again. Wait, is it this place again? It looks a bit different. Hello. Yeah, I think we'll maybe use these iron nodes as a coal node over this way. There it is. I think it's pure as well. Yep, pure. Why is everything sparkling? Also, there's another power slug. I just looked up arachnophobia mode and saw a lot of cat PNGs. Yes, indeed. That is how that be. 
Yeah, I think we'll just produce coal over here. Or maybe up this way. Here we go. Iron ore impure. Iron ore impure. So that's just two impure iron nodes, actually. Here's more copper. Normal. And that's just a little bit away from our little copper outpost over here, I believe. Hello, doggo. Oh, he's looking. Hey, we got him. Good boy. So is this normal or... It's normal. Okay, cool. Speaking of which, we should have quite a lot. Why is this one stopped? Oh, because it's... It's not stopped, that's why. Oh, because... We're not getting enough ingots. Hey, right, while I'm here... Why don't we just... Why don't we just bring the rest of this copper over from this way? Where is it? I think the place with iron you have in mind is more north. Okay. Oh yeah, there's one that's in the valley, um, right below the first base I built. Alright, so this is going to be a miner. Once again, we need a portable miner before we can make a proper miner. And we're pointing it in this general direction. Let's get it some power. That's too... got too many nodes on it. There we go. So that should be 60 per second, right? Uh, 60 per minute. Yep. Regular belt. Over here. Not quite arriving exactly where I expected it to, but that's fine. Wait, do we only have half the smelters we would need for this anyway? No, we're doing 60 per minute. That's fine. Wait, this one's 60 per minute. We need double the smelters. Stop blocking me from building a foundation, please. Oh, it's the zoop thing. That's why it's not building. Okay. My bad, doggo. Okay. So we're going to need a merger right about here. How do I change the... There we go. This is actually really unfortunate, the way this lines up. Um, pr 
probably the best solution is just to move this splitter over slightly. Okay, so merger. Wait, what am I doing? This is a merger, right? Yeah. Over here. And that doesn't need one. Why doesn't this go where I want it to? I guess I'll just deal with that. And then we need a splitter. goes up here. Except most of these are going to need to be tier 2. Um, two of these makes 60 per minute. So that's a tier 1, tier 1, tier 1, tier 1, tier 2. And Tier 2. And Tier 2. Alright, cool. Um, then we need... A pair of splitters here. Unless we're going to merge all that. We'll just do it this way. Splitter goes here. And here. And last but not least, power. Fantastic. That does not need to be a Mark II belt. Okay, so now we should have all throughput to build all of this stuff all the time. We've got not as much copper wire stored as I would have thought by now. Not even close. I might just pluck these at full speed. So that's going to use 120 wire per minute. We're going to make 120 wire per minute because we're not going to be splitting that. Uh, half as many ingots as we need to do all of this at full speed anymore. And we'll start accumulating wire when Where are you going? You brought me some sulfur, how kind of you. Um Yeah, it's we're gonna have two full containers of um cable before we start accumulating wire, but I don't care about that, especially because we've already got a place over there where we can pick up tons of wire all the time. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And take one of these. Oh. 77 rips. I've already got plenty of rotors. 
Uh, I forgot about dropping off the stuff for improved melee combat. So we can finish that one immediately. Maybe I should move the hub. We're three short for the wire. Uh, what? I thought... No, we're 40 short. Okay, I have to go and pick some up then. Over this way. I can hardly see the hub in all of this mess. Alright, there we go. Improved melee combat. Xenobasha requires two zappers and five modular frames. I might just make a few more of these because they're going to be more in demand. Okay. We need two Xeno Zappers. And here comes the Basher. Wait, did it say... No, we're fine. We've also got another slot over here. Which is nice. I'm guessing that's probably the last hand slot we're going to get. Okay. So that was... We also get a few inventory slots. 90 seconds until we can unlock something else. Minor Mark II, that sounds nice. We need steel pipe though. Okay, all of these require steel. This one is very straightforward. We need a few more modular frames. And 400 iron rods. Let's go get those rods. I think there's another machine that makes them over here, but they're probably... I was going to say they're probably all getting consumed. Uh, not quite. In fact, here's another stack. Fantastic. Okay. 20 seconds. Why don't we watch the show? Yoink, yoink, yoink. And a yoink. I think that's the last particularly easy milestone that's left. Everything else requires steel. We got vehicles though. I'm pretty sure you can automate them right from the get-go. 
Excuse me. You jelly landing pad. <laughs> oh, nice name. Truck station and tractor. Oh, the tractor's kind of crap. I remember. Might I might wait till we can make actual trucks until I make truck stations. Built-in crafting bench. How nice. Can be automated to deliver and pick up resources. I mean, I wonder how slow it is. Does it really matter? Because it's going to bring items from one remote place to another. Nicknamed the Sugar Cube by Fixit Pioneers with the justification. It's pretty sweet, you know. I think the vehicles are meant to be a lot better in Update 5. Okay. In that case, maybe let's try the tractor. Um... Do I just... Okay, I need five cubes and five beacons. I can't remember if we need oil processing set up to automatically refuel them all the time as well. Uh... Beacon. It was three beacons, wasn't it? No, it was five. Alright, tractor. That was quick. Show me what you got. We got a workbench. We got inventory. And we got... We've, we've still got the same... Terrible camera controls. Change camera. Okay, that one's just locked on behind. Oh, this one's much better. That's almost normal. Wait, what? I, I still have to move my mouse way more than I should have to, actually. Okay. We need to feel this thing. And I, I wonder what kinds of fuel it will take. Anything. Okay, cool. Same as the biomass burners. Let's see how it handles. Uh, it's pretty slow. Well, we're getting up to a whopping 42 kilometers per hour. I almost couldn't run this fast. Assuming there's nothing, there's no difficult terrain in our way. I'm pretty sure I remember this being considerably worse though. So that's something. Yeah, I don't know that it's worth the trouble though, except that we can... We can make some truck stops, and we have to record a path. Oh, no, I said stop. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Okay, you know what? I want to check, actually. I'm pretty... I don't think we can set up automatically refueling of the vehicles at the truck stops until we have oil, but I could be wrong. If we can do that, it might be worth setting up a truck to bring us plastic or something from the, uh, well, from the oil production area. There's a couple of other things that are pretty remote compared to this location. Um, how do I make the truck stop? I need 10 more cubes. If I recall correctly, you could also use the little, um, the tiny little vehicle that you get as a token reward 
to do the same thing. I don't know how you would get it to pick up and drop off items, though. Alright. That is... Three inputs, two outputs. Okay. Press E to configure truck station. What a glorious thing it is. Vehicle station data, fuel consumption per minute. Nice. All routes are operational. Good to know. Maximum transfer rate, stacks per minute. That's also good to know. Vehicle settings, load or unload. Um, so fuel goes here. So we can semi-automate this. But I think the only way we get... Oh wait, what about coal? Can we use coal? If we can use coal to fuel the vehicle, which I think we can then we're going to be able to... This belt is not full. Oh, that's right, because that actually makes sense. Uh, let's just make sure all of our coal plants are getting what they need. Will the coal plants burn fuel slower if it's not necessary to burn fuel? Uh, we're only at 42 here. 43. 100. So it still hasn't fully, um, it still hasn't backed up. But I'm thinking we could have a storage here for coal that manages to get to the very end. Anyway, um, I have a little bit of compacted coal here. Where is our vehicle? There's our sugar cube. Okay. Yeah, forget about the... I'm going to deconstruct it just to make sure there isn't like some leftover fuel. Coal goes in here. And it does indeed drive. Okay, so that means we have everything we need to set up a completely automated route. I don't know, oh, I do know. I know exactly where we could do an automated route that would actually be relevant right now. We can use this to bring back uh, Katerium. So, it would appear fuel goes in here, and these two are inputs, and these two are outputs. Okay. So, where are we going to put our truck stop? Somewhere flat and open and out of the way. Like, down here. Why don't we just put it next to the, uh... Uh, the space elevator. Is this okay? Seems good. How much power do we have left? Lots. Fantastic. Okay, so... Well, on the other hand, I think I would like to put it next to where there's coal. I do suspect we'll be able to run this on the excess coal that we're already getting. We'll just do it over here for now. This is all experimental. Uh, truck station.
line it up like so. There goes our fuel. And... There's no room for power here. Gonna need another power pole. Apparently all of that stuff is connected somewhere else. Okay. We want this to be an unload station. And we need to make another truck station way over at the Katerium. They added a second belt in and out, finally. It was so inferior with just one. So you could only get, what is it, 300 or something items in and out per minute? I barely used the uh, trucks before, so I didn't notice. Oh, and uh, RPHL streams? Didn't realize that was your name over there. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get a few more of these. Oh, we can't. Can we make the truck stop? Yes, good. Maybe I should pick up some more rip before going anywhere else. I'm also going to have to think about where the truck route is actually going to go. Satis Pog. Yes, indeed. Ninja Dogs. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Now it looks better. What looks better? Oh, the, um, the truck thing? The station? Don't die. We're not going very fast. I wonder if that contributed to not making it to this one. Oh god, no. It's more the fact that it snaps onto that wire right there. I think we can jump this way, though, as scary as it is. Can we do a truck stop down in the water? We can. Let's do it. So this one is going to be a load. We're not going to be putting any fuel in here. Um, should we put like a splitter here, or should we, should we just get quick wire? I guess the splitter would be over here, wouldn't it? Is this, is this still underclocked though? Yeah, it is. Whoops. Oh, we can do a priority splitter, but I don't know if I have the materials. Logistics... Smart splitter. We need an AI limiter. Whoops. AI limiter. We can make one. Fantastic. Okay. 
So the ratio here is 15 per minute versus 12 per minute. Smart splitter go here. That doesn't look right. Okay. And how do we configure it? Left is any, uh, center is overflow. And right is none, but there's no need to do that. That actually looks totally fine. Don't need this ladder anymore. Right, so high priority for ingots is to accumulate over here. And obviously that would happen naturally eventually, but I'm just happy to have smart splitters. Let's just double check everything is fully Locked. It was not. Okay, 120 per minute. We're not using anywhere near that much. Um, 45 per minute, please. This is fine for now. Is this not... Is this already full? No, it's not. It's a load station. Wait, is... Do we think of it from the perspective of the truck station, or the truck? Does the miner produce 45 per minute? Yes, indeed. Don't fall. Okay. Do you use up the zipline because of the three quarters? I don't know if I understand. Why is item not going into truck station? Is it because it's not powered? It's just because it's not powered. Okay, so it should be load. Loading the vehicle. It says outgoing transfer rate. That makes sense. Let's not outthink ourselves here. And eventually we'll get some Victorian ingots as well. Um, although, maybe I shouldn't mix the stuff that we're picking up from here. Because then we'll have to filter it at the other end. We can do that. That's no problem. Okay, so now we just have to drive the vehicle. Uh-oh. Not jump off the waterfall of death. Oh, and we're actually going to have to... Um... We are right... Whoa, that looked weird. We are actually going to have to figure out the route for the truck as well. So, so far this looks pretty easy. This looks pretty straightforward. But can we recognize it coming backwards? You'd be surprised how different things can look going the other way. Uh, this is a bit... hilly. 
but it shouldn't be a problem. We've got a road and a big old spitter, hopefully that isn't interested in us. And some little spitters, eager to test out my basher for me. Okay, so this goes down here. I should probably mark where we need to make a left. I think it's this spot. Let's just put a ladder there for the moment. Yep, that'll work. Oops. Okay, I don't want to be driving the truck if this thing aggros. Especially when we're trying to record a route. Harvest? Oops. Okay. Big Bird actually freaked me out for just a split second until I realized what it was. Uh, why don't we make sure this spot is clearly visible? And I know where this is because pretty much my first base, apart from the very, very starter, stuff was down in this valley. Alright, where's our truck? Oh, it's on the minimap. Fantastic. Or tractor, rather. It should have plenty of fuel by now. If that compacted coal doesn't... Oh, right. If that compacted coal doesn't last very long, I'll be very disappointed. Please let me stop going the wrong way. Oh no. Did it run out of fuel? I think it ran out of fuel. We're just rolling. Uh, Alright, let's go get some. There's actually a decent amount here already. I want to put in... Can I split this? There we go. I want to put in just a little bit of fuel. And I want to see if the truck station will load it if I just park there. Okay. Oh, it shows our fuel down the bottom as well. Press X to unload cargo from tractor. Okay, here we go. Open record menu. Did it just default to recording and I didn't even see it? Close the loop to finish recording. Can we stop it? Okay. Start recording. Wait, what's this? Enable autopilot. Hide path nodes. Load path. Oh, you can save them. Good. Start recording. Oh, and we do have 83 compacted coal in the fuel tank now. So that is working as expected. I, I hope 
waiting there for a while isn't part of the reported path. Uh, where can we turn here? Down we go. Into the tree. Oh, it's gone now. Oh boy. So the AI is going to faithfully reenact that bumping into the rock every time, isn't it? I don't think... I think AI is a little bit generous for that. I am glad I marked this with a tower. I think it smooths out the path. Okay, we'll soon see. Uh, it is up this way, isn't it? Along the road. And once we turn this corner, we should see our ladder. There it is. And here's the fun part. Oh, okay. Autosave hitch is a little bit alarming when we're trying to drive this brick and record for the autopilot. And here we are. I don't suppose I need to press X as part of the record. Maybe I do. Probably a good idea. Wouldn't hurt. Might need to? Yeah. Okay, and since we're going back exactly the way we can, uh, came, there's not going to be any difficulty in seeing where we need to go. Obviously, you wouldn't want to record it this way if you're going to use more than one vehicle. Although, maybe they changed something, but from what I saw last time... Uh, the vehicles would just go straight through each other. I think the same was true of trains, and I think I heard that they changed that. So probably best to assume that vehicles can crash into each other until proven otherwise. Rip trees. Don't get in my way, you giant tick. Let's slow down a little bit. I don't want to, like, spin or slide and mess up. I didn't even notice how steep this bit was before, but it's not steep enough to be a problem. Maybe I should have gone around to the right here. It's fine. And we'll definitely want to turn a little bit more to the left here. And so we can turn around.
Path recording complete. All right, so enable autopilot. Autopilot enabled. Away it goes. And here is our quick wire. And I can easily outrun it. I mean, parts of this, it's obviously not going to go full speed. I kind of want to see if just running normally, if it's going to outpace me on the straight part. It is. What if I do this? Oh my goodness! Um... Okay. <laughs> that happened. Thanks for the yay, Veldak. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Baboonfish. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> That's a first. I did land on top of it, right? I'm pretty sure I landed on top of it. <laughs> that SFX timing. How do I... respawn? Here we go. Am I gonna lose any items or anything? I didn't have half a chance to read that text. I have no items. Please tell me there's, like, a death box over here. Please tell me it didn't fall through the floor. Am I going to have to remake everything? I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Oh no. Bye bye items. There should be a box. It's probably under the world. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You could recall to an autosave. Unless it's going to cause some weird performance issues or something, because there's something like falling th down below the world forever, which I doubt. Um. I think I'll just remake all my stuff. It's going to be a lot easier than making it the first time. Still, what a betrayal. I wonder how long it'll take for the vehicle to come back. It should be just a couple of minutes or so, right? Maybe it was longer than I realized. I kind of want to see the vehicle coming back, and that'll be the end of the stream for today. Should probably start looking for someone to raid. Maybe you bonked it under the world. You scared me. There it is. I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, if if the vehicle didn't come back, I would definitely load a save. Here it comes. Probably hoping to murder me again. While upgrading my SE factory, I started moving my temporary mole somewhere else. It's in the way of the main bus. Oh no. So, I can't look at what's in the truck while we're driving it, can I? Nope. It's not possible to do that. I think if they stray from the path for too long, they just teleport onto it now. Yeah, I think... Um, what? Why is it... 
what's happening. It's on autopilot, but when I jumped on, it stopped trying. What? Oh, okay. What? Are you going... <laughs> what? I think it's going all the way back to the other truck stop. There's no autopilot if you're driving. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I, I think we'll wrap up the stream there. <laughs> Who could ask for a better finish? Honestly. Um, let's see who else is streaming. Satisfactory or maybe Factorio. One job? <laughs> yeah, one job indeed. Um... Satisfactory. If I see anyone I recognize, I think I'll jump on that for satisfactory. Otherwise, most of my viewers are more on Factorio anyway, right? Miniature Eiffel Tower? Let's check on the, uh, the vehicle still didn't come back. Oh, whoops. One job, but the manager kept interfering. <laughs> so the subordinate got confused and had to start again. Fair enough. I, I can cop to that. Literally can't get the manager off its back. All right. Let's uh, have a look around here. Oh, perfect. This person's... This person's got arachnophobia mode on. I think that's an automatic uh, raid, right? Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to take a day off streaming as usual. Uh, next day is going to be a full-length Factorio stream again. And after that... Well, I think it's actually going to be full-length streams all week. I'll have to double-check. But, uh... Yeah, check out the blueprints or the Discord if you're interested. Let me know if there's anything broken, missing, or if you have requests. Thanks for the stream, bye. Thank you for hanging out, Evil Player. Take care, Veldek. Alright, let's go.